look inside Nissan's Heisman House. Well, it's rivalry week. You know what that means. What? The nice full ring, where the two nicest Heismans battle it out. See who's nicest. Battle begin. Thank you for painting my fence. You're so welcome. I squeeze it myself. Here's your pony, Olivia. Thank you. I got you something. Son! Timmy! Woo! I got you something, too. Hi, baby! Aloha, son! Season. I'm everyone with the case of the dropsies. I just dropped my phone. Can you help me out? Hey, honey, I might have dropped the match. I did. And if I could show up on game day, imagine what could happen the rest of the week. So get Allstate and be better protected from mayhem like me. Know what goes great with steak and shrimp? More shrimp. And you know what goes great with that shrimp? You guessed it, more shrimp. Steak and unlimited shrimp starting at $15.99. Only at Outback. Let's do an ad of a man eating free waffles at Comfort Inn. They taste like victory because he always gets the lowest price on our rooms guaranteed when he books direct at choicehotels.com. Or just say bada book, bada boom. Book now at choicehotels.com. You're watching Veterans Week coverage on ESPN, brought to you by USAA. You can't be faint of heart in this one now. There you go. We're off the chest on Hill this week. It's going to be cold up there. It's going to be cold. A.J. Dillon is one of the more physical backs in the country. We've been waiting. Right now, we kind of control our own destiny. Clemson, it wasn't just a good team last year or the year before. It's a very strong program. Trevor Lawrence, they could not ignore his physical skill set. That's a middle eagle. ETN explodes. They've been kicking ass, taking names. And you have to win the physical matchups. Everyone has a great plan to win until they get hit in the face. Yeah, there we go. I like that. We love to hit. Five. There we go. Three, two, one. New England weather. Welcome back to this presentation of the ACC on ESPN. Clemson has been on a demolition mission. They have been destroying ACC foes 240 to 36 since the scare at home against Syracuse. BC trying to summon all this energy and pull a big upset tonight. Maria Taylor on the field with Davo Sweeney. Maria? Thanks, Chris. All right, Coach, you're a win away from clinching the division. How did you describe the importance of this game to your team before taking the field? Biggest game of the year. You know, it's, it's the one we're playing. And uh, if we can take care of business, they'll hand you a trophy. So just trying to be great in the moment. We know that BC likes to play physical and with a chip on their shoulder. What's the biggest challenge facing your team tonight? Just be who we are. You know, it's not about BC. It's about Clemson. Just be who we are. Do play Clemson football. We'll be fine. All right, thanks. Thank you. Winners of 52 of the last 55 games. Sam Sweeney, Steve Adazio, tough guy, New England roots. You heard this speech. That didn't get you ready if you're oh an Eagle. Nothing God. will, huh? That, that'll get you ready to cover a kickoff. BC won the toss and deferred. They will kick it off. This is Danny Longman to boot it away. It'll be an interesting evening for the special teams. Swirling wind, temperatures high 30s and dropping. 
Darian Kendrick. And the young guy weaves his way through the coverage team. Very elusive and knocked out just short of the 30-yard line. We talked about the Tigers' team roll. They ran over Wake Forest 63-3. to NC State came in unbeaten and got flattened. Florida State, they beat him by seven touchdowns in Tallahassee. And then Louisville. Everyone's running over Louisville, but it was ridiculous. 77 points could have been even worse. So here comes Trevor Lawrence. Again, never quarterbacked in the cold before. Never started a night game before. But he is wise beyond his years with freaky arm talent. Travis Etienne. Louisiana native motions into the left of the quarterback and the Eagles crowd the line. It's a rare keeper for the big 6-6 quarterback and a nice first down gain. Offensive line, Hyatt, more snaps than any player in Clemson history over there left tackle. Yeah, Wyatt is, is the leader, or Hyatt is the leader up front and say veteran groups and guys that have played a lot of football. T. Higgins gives him a matchup. Hunter Renfro, guys played a lot of ball. Love to see three. Amari Rogers get some one-on-one -on -one opportunities as well. And of course to back Travis Etienne, one of the best in the country. Lawrence got four yards on the keeper. And now Etienne, his first carry running right. He's strong and slippery, and he's got a first down at the 40. Allen, Carafa, Smith, and Ray all came in together. It's an outstanding front. Strahan's leading tackler. Strahan and Richardson give them experience, and guys that can fly around. Torres does a nice job jumping rounds. Cheever's five interceptions. These corners have their hands full against these Clemson tall receivers. And Lawrence from the pocket, pump fake. Now takes a downfield shot. Has a man open. Catch made by Amari Rogers, and he has run out deep in Boston College territory by Will Harris, but they bought the pump fake, Kirk. Yeah, a couple run plays. Safety starting to cheat up. See how eight Harris starts to cheat up? Talked about that in the open. The safeties have a big responsibility tonight because they want to come up and help out against the run, but they got to be careful leaving the corners on an island, and they get him on a double move. 41 yards in that pickup. ETN, one over a thousand yards on the last carry for the season down inside the 15. Uh, I mean, this is the opening drive of the game. I, mean, I, I love how Dabo Sweeney told Maria, we're, we're worried about Clemson. You know, we, we're not worried about BC. We're going to play our game and our ball. And here's four plays into the game. They've already moved 57 yards and they're already into the red zone by just doing their style of offense and running their game. Second and six, ETN, not much there. Talked about the veteran front of this Boston College defense. Of course, most teams say it, but stopping the run, priority one tonight, stopping number nine. Yes, the, the defensive line gives him a chance because they've got some players that are difference makers up there. Two, Zach Allen gets most of the attention, but you're looking at Wyatt Ray, who's also a guy who's been around and played a lot of ball. Ray Smith, 96. They've got to hold their own, not only eat up blocks for the linebackers, but they've got to try to get off of blocks and get penetration. Well, they've got Thompson to third down. They need four. Eagles showing pressure. They back out of it, and Lawrence from the pocket looked a little confused there, Kirk, by the late wrinkle by Boston College. It's fourth down. Yeah, good catch, Chris. They ended up they're going to try to disguise. Remember, as good as Trevor Lawrence is, he is still a freshman. Late movement. They bring a corner blitz there that surprised him with Cheevers. The movement there by Harris also eight. And at the last second, I don't think he even felt the blitz from the corner, Cheevers, until it was too late. Good job of disguising and waiting by Jim Reed, the defensive coordinator from Boston College. That's a win for the BC defense, isn't it? A field goal attempt from Greg Hugel. Five of six inside 40 yards. This from 29, and he drives it right through. So Clemson takes it 59 yards in less than three minutes, but has to settle for a three. First BC possession coming up. It's not what champions do is what champions don't do they don't back down they don't settle and they don't quit except for cable cable yeah you quit cable because we are cougars and we don't quit unless what unless it's cable quit cable and switch to direct tv and get the most live sports and 4k more for your thing that's our thing 1-800-DIRECT-TV 
don't just make cars. We make technology that moves people. This is the 2018 Nissan Rogue, featuring tech like Pro Pilot Assist. It helps keep you centered in your lane and in control. This is how Nissan Intelligent Mobility is reinventing driving for everyone. Now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway. The king is going crazy, making 10 nuggets just a dollar. Crazy, right? Crazy crispy, crazy juicy. 10 nuggets made of crazy delicious white meat for just a dollar. Now that's a crazy deal. Enjoy 10 golden nuggets for just a dollar, only at Burger King. So we want to make sure you're covered properly. Okay, State Farm, let's just say hypothetically that someone used Aaron's bathroom and that person lit a candle and the candle accidentally lit a towel on fire and the towel charred the wall. What would that... Weren't you just in the bathroom? I've never been in a bathroom. Not once. How does that work? Well, I meditate and I make it go away. It smells like you burned some. We should definitely investigate it. Go with the one that's here to help life go right. State Farm. tailgate brisket no real football y pollo asado hoops and wings dude subs hot dog chili dog no dodger dog it's gotta be crawfish now you talk burgers seven layer dip ribs no contest hummus um what you need a hot grill and an ice cold coke of course football and coke come on it's got to be coke game day race day calls for coke you know it grab yourself a coke it's tailgate 101 Today, every rookie gets a new training officer. We get the opportunity heroes. The Rookie, only Tuesday on ABC. Hello, I'm Chief Warrant Officer 3, Jay Rosado. Here from Taji, Iraq. I want to wish Clemson Tigers uh, best of luck against Boston College. Go Tigers, beat BC. We salute their service on Veterans Week, and there'll be folks representing BC and Clemson will hear from throughout the evening. Tigers a field goal in their opening possession, and now BC Potter to boot it away. Ben Kleins and Michael Walker are back deep. And this is Walker who will leave it there. Boston College has the second most experienced offensive line after Wisconsin. Nasty personality, serious challenge for those guys tonight. Yeah, and the right guard, 75 Lindstrom, has to set the tone against a really talented Clemson defensive line. Jeff Smith can do a lot of things very, very fast. A.J. Dillon sets the tone. We talked about him in the opening. You will see up to six different tight ends, but 89 Sweeney is the leader of the bunch. Anthony Brown's a sophomore from New Jersey. He's a capable runner. And a nice strong arm. Can he settle in? Can he be calm and execute tonight against his very good defense? Can he feed Dylan enough? 250 pounder from New London, Connecticut, bangs for a short first down game. Clemson's heard for a week how physical Boston College is and how physical A.J. Dillon is. You're gonna go, you're gonna see a lot of up tempo approach from BC tonight. And this is Dillon, and he's got a little hole and uses his power and muscles near the marker. It's interesting, a high-tempo offense with big bodies on the field. Yeah, I mean, we live in a high-tempo offensive era, but it's typically, as you say, it's a lot of spread, four wide receivers, quarterbacks looking over to the, the sideline, getting a sign to get the play in. But here you're going to see a lot of times, at the very least, two tight ends with the, you know, we call it 12 personnel with one back and two tight ends. But there's versatility. You can see there, Sweeney flexed out on the right-hand side, and another tight end up on the left. This is Travis Levy. He's a back out of the backfield. He's got a catch, and he's got a first down out near the 40. He's an excellent compliment to the physical Dylan. Yeah, and a big part of their tempo is not just to try to tire Clemson out, but by giving them so many different formations that are unique to this offense, it makes it tough to communicate for the Clemson defense. You see them late to adjust here. The receiver. Jeff Smith in the backfield, and he's got it, excuse me, Kobe White. They'll use receivers all over the place. They, they love trickery. I don't think it's going to be too long before Leffler tries something tonight. Yeah, of course he will. He's, he's got some receivers. A lot of them played high school quarterback. They can throw the football around. 
We've seen that already this season, especially with Jeff Smith. So Smith in motion. It's play action, and they flip it short to one of those many tight ends. They have a bunch of dudes who are 6'3", 250. They're out of a factory. Garab Idrisi makes that catch. Yeah, you're right. They, they, they're kind of interchangeable as far as their, their height and their weight. And, and my, my point about the size of these tight ends and the tempo, look at the Clemson players. You'll see a lot of them looking over to Brent Venables trying to get the call. And that's why BC is trying to go fast with a variety of formations, trying to get them to miscommunicate. It's working. Third down has been a mighty struggle for this Boston College offense as a timeout call before the snap. But BC, even the games they've won, Kirk, it's been it's been tough on third down. They know against this defense, they're not going to make a living converting these third and longs. Now th this communication is is a big factor right now. For Clemson and Brent Venables. You, you, this is what I was talking about. You can see the guys looking around. There are a lot of linebackers looking over. They're trying to get the call. But what you have is 10 players on the field. The reason Farrell is out there trying to get the timeout and eventually comes from the sideline from Davos, he recognized Dexter Lawrence had gone off the field. So just there in the early part, Brent Venables just trying to settle everybody down. It's one thing to rep it during the week. You get out here, BC's going fast, and they're giving you a variety of formations. Guys' heads are spinning right now, and they just need to maybe simplify and just kind of slow things down for these players because they're having a tough time adjusting to that tempo. You know how much he loves to make the last adjustment. That may be difficult tonight, yeah. huh? Yeah, that's his that's his style. He loves to wait to see what you're finally in and then get that last that last second call in. And and that's a big part of the reason BC is trying to counter that with with their uh, their approach tonight. Travis Levy is the back on third and about nine and a half. Two tight ends. Flex to the left. Brown. Pressure. Wilkins after him. And the Massachusetts native who's got 80 tickets tonight for friends and family. It's got to be a record number. It's well, an impact. He, he, he is a handful. He'll start on the inside and work his way around. He and Bryant kind of do a little bit of a, a kind of an X stunt, a twist. And he is a handful because of his leverage and quickness, ability to get around the right tackle and get into the face of Anthony Brown. And he is a big dude. He's 315, and he landed right yeah. on Anthony Brown, who's down on one knee on the field. Hope it's just the wind getting knocked out of him. But yeah, Wilkins, like so inspired. He didn't get a chance to come north and play in front of home folk too often. That's right. And I, you're, you're, I don't know if it's the wind. I, it looked like he may have come down on that right shoulder. Uh, he uh, is a year removed from an ACL injury, and Adazio, obvious concern, will send it back to Matt Barry in the studio for an update as we await the uh, exam on Brown here. Okay, Chris, time for a Dr. Pepper championship drive update. Georgia in one between the hedges tonight against Auburn until Jake Fromm finds Tyler Simmons for the touchdown. Dogs back on top, 13-10, two minutes before the half. Chris Kirk, back to you. Now we see E.J. Perry is a sophomore from here in Massachusetts taking snaps, the backup quarterback. And Kirk Brown has not moved as the athletic trainers and doctors surround him. Another look at the impact as Wilkins came down on top of him. Yeah, he kind of twists his body, but all of that weight and momentum coming down on Anthony Brown. Is that hit late, you think, or, or clean? No, I think, it, I think it looked clean to me. Mm. But incredibly violent. So we'll update you on that story as Grant Carlson is set to punt it away. Amari Rogers, who made the catch in the Tigers opening possession and punt return formation. He'll come up and let this bounce in front of him. Now he feels it as the coverage team closes in and drops him for a loss. A risky maneuver by Rogers, who's muffed a few punt returns this year. And Harris, the captain, the starting safety, flew down on special teams. Concern for Brown as Trevor Lawrence goes back to work. Clemson up three.
express your drive with the all-new 2019 Nissan Altima. Impossibly smart. Not long ago, Rhonda started here. And then more jobs began to appear. These techs in a lab, this builder in a hard hat, the welders and electricians who do all of that. The diner staffed up because they all needed lunch. Teachers, doctors, jobs grew a bunch. What started with one job spread all around because each job in energy creates many more in this town. Energy lives here. We're more than just $5 medium one-topping pizzas, stuffed garlic knots, breadsticks, bone-out wings, pasta, and new Cinnabon mini rolls. We're the $5 lineup with the best sides for your pizza. $5 each. Choose two or more, $5 each. No one out pizzas the hut. Broke my personal record. Half what? No. Good break. Good break. Mm. I'm so sorry we can't make your barbecue. I'm just sick about it. Half what? <laughs> Different kind of sick. Oh. If I can't work after surgery, how am I going to pay my rent? All these bills. Aflac! Oh, Aflac! And they pay you cash in just one day. See how Aflac helps cover everyday expenses at Aflac.com. Saturday Night Football on ABC is presented by Walmart. Light up Christmas at Walmart. In part by Nissan, innovation that excites, and the unexpected energy of Exxon Mobil. Energy lives here. See, so look at some of the BC greats over the years, and the BC quarterback, Anthony Brown, walking off. Tomorrow is the one year anniversary of his ACL injury that set him back throughout the winter and the spring, wasn't cleared to play medically until summer camp. This appears to be an upper body injury as they walk him off. Good punt coverage sets Clemson back at the 13 yard line for the Tigers second possession. Moved to 56 yards to a field goal the first time. Lawrence has a clean pocket and delivers far side and this is Hunter Renfro a veteran senior. He's got more career starts at wide receiver than any Tiger in history. Good job of finding that soft coverage, and you can see whether it's man or zone. Hunter Renfro knows how to find, especially in zone, that soft spot. Good rhythm there with Lawrence finding is one of his favorite targets. The 38 consecutive games that he's played, and he's made a catch. That's a share of the school record. And the first down carry by ETN slam down after three yards. Our Chick-fil-A impact players, Kirk. Yep, start with the Clemson offense. Travis ETN, get, try to establish him. We talked about if you get him established, look out, because T. Higgins and company can make big plays. Zach Allen, number two, has got to have a big night against the run and provide the pass rush. And Hamp Cheevers going to be out on an island tonight against T. Higgins. He's got to hold up in that man coverage. Yeah, big, tall receivers against short corners. Everybody tries to pick on B.C. This is Renfro out of the slot. He is well defended and slung down immediately by Max Richardson, the hard-hitting linebacker. Yeah, really good job of this defense pursuing. Jim Reed told us this week how important it was to get this defense off to a fast start. They look completely locked in right now, reading their keys and running to the football. Nice job there by the linebacker, Richardson. If you're a defense and you've seen your starting quarterback walk off with an injury, perhaps extra urgency and inspiration they're known, Chris, for pressure on third down. Let's see if they just rely on the front four to get home or if they bring some pressure. Well, they got off the mark quickly, so it's a free play for Lawrence, who loses the football. Clemson retains possession, but they got a quick start. Yeah, Zach Allen, the leader, number two, got off a little bit early. I think he was excited to try to get to the corner. Defense, number two, five-yard penalty, replay third down. So the fumble doesn't count, but you can see they got after Lawrence. Well, third no. down, third down, you're going to do everything you can to try to turn loose your outside pressure, your edge pressure. Ray, 11 on the other other side, and Allen. And I'll tell you, if he would have waited just a beat, he would have had a chance to get off that edge and still, I think, get around and, and get the pressure on Lawrence. And what a bonus case. that would be, by the way, to get to Lawrence without having the blitz with uh, with those defensive ends. Allen, a guy who came back this year for his senior year, but a certain first-round prospect. Third and two now after the penalty. 
Etienne motions out. And Lawrence pressured again, and he'll be sacked. Will Harris came on the blitz. Well, they took a chance here on third down. They brought Harris late. Lawrence doesn't see him. It's the second time they've done a good job of bringing blitzes. You can see in the background, official waving the playoff. We have a flag on the field. But a second time, they've waited to the last second, disguising the blitz and trying to get pressure on Lawrence. So the sack. Can count them, move it back five yards to be another third down back to the original spot Lawrence has been brilliant, but you mentioned there's still some firsts. Yeah. Yeah, there's right now they're, they're waiting to that last possible second to bring pressure and he's not seeing it right now They're jumping around on their side of the line again on third and seven, Lawrence pressured again. Flushed. A flag comes in as he scoots out about short of the marker. Zach Allen got there in a hurry again, Kirk. It's, look, it's in the holding it, zone. It flag. is. He got held that time because he got around so quickly. But Lawrence is Holder. short of the first down. Offense, so you think they decline this? Yeah, they'll Tennessee decline it. He's all the way fourth down. You're seeing the senior from New Canaan, Connecticut making a big impact. And he comes off the edge again. Remember, he was two plays ago. He's this time he waits patiently. I think that's a matchup concern for Clemson. Keep in mind, Zach Allen is 285 pounds. He's a guy that says he emulates JJ Watt, watches all the cutups of JJ on, on yep. Sundays, and he's got a future making money playing football, too. Oh, yeah. Just a relentless pass rusher. He's like a baby faced guy off the field, but he just becomes an assassin when he gets out there. Spires hesitated and kicks a rugby punt that takes a bounce. It's fielded dangerously. And Walker has a wall down the sidelines, galloping free. Michael Walker all the way home. Risk Kirk and a massive reward. I thought it was gutsy to even feel it. I know. I think the ball snuck up at him. I thought it might have even hit a Clemson player that was downfield covering, but because the ball, the way it skipped, it skipped in a very unusual way. I, I thought it may have hit 18. Right there, it did. In fact, did hit him, and that's what surprised me that he was able to secure the ball. He had no interest until all of a sudden, boom, the ball bounces off of him and into the hands of Walker. That is his first career touchdown as a returner. And he's returned a couple hundred punts and kickoffs waiting for that moment. And a special teams play as electrified Boston College. Michael Walker puts the Eagles on top, 7-3. Sure, we could build our subs using pre-sliced meat like everyone else. But then we'd be like everyone else. Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. Gary, Gary, Gary. I am proud of you, my man. Making simple, smart cashback choices. With Quicksilver from Capital One, you're earning unlimited 1.5% cash back on every purchase everywhere. Like on that new laptop. Quicksilver keeps things simple, Gary. And smart, like you. <laughs> and I like that. I guess I am pretty smart. Don't let that go to your head, Gary. What's in your wallet? <coughs> when a nasty cold won't let you sleep, try new NyQuil Severe with Vicks VapoCool. And vaporize it. New NyQuil Severe with Vicks VapoCool. The vaporizing, nighttime coughing, aching, stuffy head, best sleep of the cold medicine i am on a journey to help people find time to relax are you ready for the journey elizabeth how did you get in here anyway the cat flap that makes sense relax with the real ginger taste of canada dry your age get your own insurance ah! 
Oh. Act your age. Get your own insurance. It takes a titan to lend a hand, even when their hands are full. So at Nissan, we build trucks with the tech you need to keep moving. We're calling all titans of the neighborhood, the outdoors, the community. You've got work to do, and we've got your truck. The story of Jersey Mike's is pretty interesting. It was started by a guy named Mike from Jersey. Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. Brad Paisley and Carrie Underwood host the CMA Awards live Wednesday on ABC. Matt Berry with your direct TV. More for your college football thing. After a Florida State touchdown, the Irish block the extra point. Julian Love recovers it, returns it for two points for the Irish. Dexter Williams has just added a touchdown. It's 25-6 Notre Dame in the second. Chris and Kirk, back to you. All right, Matt, thank you. So Michael Walker, the senior who has seen his role as a receiver kind of shrink in recent years, makes a huge impact as a returner. And Clemson trails for the first time since the waning seconds of the comeback victory against Syracuse. Kendrick fields it at the 10. And Kendrick has a crease, and now he's going to be penned in and slung down at the 30. Tremendous reflexes because, as you point out, the ball touched a tiger on the way to him. Yeah, it touches him. It sneaks up on, on Walker. But look at the wall. I mean, that's a convoy down that right sideline. The ball is live. BC can pick it up and run with the football after it touched the Clemson player who was covering uh, the punt. Looked like it was actually TJ Chase, a wide receiver who was downfield. It ended up that ball kind of bounced off his looked like the back side of his maybe the back side of his leg so a team that has been crushing people the last four games finds itself down four certainly won't be any panic from this veteran Tigers team Tavian Feaster is the back and Lawrence pitches it on first down it's T Higgins coming out of a slot and the ball has some zip on it on a 16th hand, doesn't it? Yeah, the, I don't think the wind or the cold's affecting uh, his ability to throw the ball. What is affecting him is Jim Reed, the defense coordinator from Boston College, and the, the job he has done so far with disguising their coverage. Remember, as good as Trevor Lawrence is, he is still a young quarterback seeing defenses and things for the first time. And the end around, Rodgers, he's got a first down. Lawrence starting four for five. And remember, when they were on the road at Texas A&M early in the year, they had Kelly Bryant. They had a veteran who'd kind of been in these kind of atmospheres. And this is, this is probably the first time that, at least early in this game, they've been tested since that game. And it's Trevor Lawrence's show now. And Lawrence gets it out wide to Renfro, who's going to be slammed down after a short game. That's a good point. At a &M, it was Kelly Bryant that engineered the comeback. And then, of course, after Lawrence got knocked out against Syracuse, it was Chase Bryce who was the hero. Exactly. Exactly. I love this physicality. Watch Torres, 24. He pushes Ross, the, the freshman receiver, back. And by doing that, it allows the defense to rally to the football. And it, again, the way he did that sends a message. Pressure and a downfield shot. Higgins goes up and grabs it. He's still going. Finally dragged down by the freshman corner, Brandon Sebastian, but uses all that 6'4 height. Yeah, th this is what BC's worried about is the height. How about the adjustment back to the ball by T. Higgins? Ball is underthrown slightly, but uses his length. He's 6'4 with the long arms. It's exactly the reason he's able to go up and over Sebastian. Great adjustment back. Sophomore who has emerged as Clemson's top target for Lawrence this year. 33 yards on that one. And Rodgers avoids a tackle. And tries to stutter step. Makes a man miss. First and goal. Play was almost blown up there well, by it, Strahan. It's a run pass option. You're going to see a blitz, which gives him an indicator to get the ball thrown to the outside. The only thing is Cheevers knows he's going to throw and jumps the route. By jumping the route, he ends up not making a play on the ball, and that's why Rodgers is able to pick up so many yards. 
BC kind of baited him into that throw. They check the sidelines to make adjustments. Plenty of time on the play clock. So two possessions and twice Clemson has threatened. Can they find the end zone this time? Keeper. Lawrence. He's a good runner, but not quite sudden enough to outrun the safety Dennis that time. I, I tell you, th th this Boston College defense, they may be limited in some certain spots athletically, but they are incredibly well prepared. That time they gave a read to, to Trevor Lawrence on the zone read to pull it out and keep the ball, and then they had two defensive backs coming up knowing he would pull it and to be there to force him out of bounds. Certainly faster than they have been. They've gone south. They had five starters in this defense are from the south. Seven seniors, too. Second and goal. Lawrence, pressure off the edge, flips it to ETN in the flat, slips a tackle, and bang down at the four-yard line. It'll be third down. Brought that same blitz, and again, Lawrence not seeing it. He was very fortunate to, the last moment, get the ball dumped down to Will Harris. I mean, Will Harris came. He was able to dump it down before Will Harris got to him. Yeah, he's seeing the hole. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're, they're they're unloading. Unloading. They are unloading. Forget about Ben, but don't break. BC is coming after the young quarterback. Jim Reed, 68 years old. He knows a lot about blitzes. Third and goal. ETN. Patiently picks his way, but he's not going to get there. Knocked down at the two, and now Dabble has a decision. This Boston College defensive line doing a really good job at the line of scrimmage. Here come the big guys. Big fellas are coming in. Christian Wilkins and Dexter Lawrence each have scored touchdowns on short runs this year. And short runs. You wonder because it's getting so much attention. If they go with a little bit of a wrinkle here and use them and maybe in a play action type of way it's gotten a lot of attention with these guys running the ball from behind Wilkins a tailback has excellent hands you're right it is play action and now they throw it over the middle easy pitch and catch mile and Richards a fourth down touchdown and the Tigers reclaim the lead it just has gotten so much attention that look at BC attacking it, anticipating that they're going to run with the big fellas. Great job of being ahead of that by thinking ahead by the offensive staff. Tony Elliott, Jeff Scott, the co-offensive coordinators, perfect time to call that play with BC thinking that the big fellas are going to just run and try to power their way into the end zone. And a 6'6 quarterback who just got the ball up and over the middle linebacker's hand. Strahan was close, but Richard, with his first touchdown reception this season, puts the Tigers back on top by a field goal late first quarter. You're a broker, right? Better be careful. I call this hole the broker breaker. It's crazy. Why would they call it the broker breaker? Schwab. $4.95 online equity trades and a satisfaction guarantee. I could read. That's a great offer. <sighs> it's hard to compete with that. Ball. Ask your broker if they offer award-winning full service and low costs Ball. backed by a satisfaction guarantee. I'm guessing your firm doesn't offer that? If you don't like their answer, ask again at Schwab. Sometimes you find yourself in a big Clemson moment. The once-in-a-lifetime kind that changes everything. But life is a collection of a million little choices. Every day you do the work, learn the skills, make something beautiful. Every mentor who challenges you to become what you believe deep in your heart you could be. What will your Clemson moment be?
Taco Bell continues to celebrate student sections and passionate fans like these Eagles by awarding the best student section of the year. Go to ESPN.com slash Taco Bell to see if your team made the rankings this week and see how your school can compete. After the punt return, with the Eagles in front, Clemson goes 70 yards in nine plays. Trevor Lawrence, 7 of 7 for 69 yards, and the touchdown on fourth down to Richard. So now we're going to see the backup quarterback for Boston College, Anthony Brown. Maria Taylor reporting still in the locker room being examined. And E.J. Perry is going to come in the game. Walker back as the kick returner. And he's in the clear again. There's a flag down as Walker is bumped out near midfield. The flag back inside the 20. But Walker providing a second electric moment. This apparently is not going to count. I think we've got a block in the back, but Tabo Sweeney still fired up. Legal block in the back on the return team, number nine. 10-yard penalty, first down. It's Kobe White, the receiver, who spoiled his fellow receiver's big return. And right there, he tries to put his hands up to try to say, I didn't touch him, but officials on top of it. It's Simmons who was coming down really fast. This is this, this it's is not much, but a little bump when a guy's moving forward to push him past the returner is, is plenty to get a penalty. So Anthony Brown goes out. You mentioned now we're going to get a look at, at E.J. Perry. Different kind of skill set, a little bit more of a, of a runner, but you can see 15 of 18 for 179 yards when he has had an opportunity to get out on the field. Yeah, which hasn't been in a couple of months. He came in in mop-up duty in that big loss to Purdue. He's a pretty good runner. This is a big ask, and they hope Dylan can carry the load for a while. And, and now Clemson's defense and Brett Venables, remember, they've had a hard time with that up-tempo, trying to get lined up, trying to get the right call in. Now they go into pin the ears back mode and go after A.J. Dillon, try to get this inexperienced quarterback to a third and eight, third and ten type of situation. They're really going to go after Dillon now. And he's got the football, and he's got some blocks on the edge, and Dillon knocked down. Nice open field tackle by Kayvon Wallace, just short of the marker. Montero, the left tackle, picked up a really nice block, allowed him to get out on the perimeter. Gives him a chance here on third down and short. Still playing tempo, Kirk, with the backup quarterback, and Dylan's got it, and he's going to be dragged down. Nothing doing there. Stopped short of the first down. Big old Dexter Lawrence. How about there. Dexter Lawrence? I mean, you talked to the Mel Kuyper and other people when it comes to evaluating players that could be eligible for the draft. 90 there makes a great play. He's able to split two, def two offensive linemen get into the backfield to keep them short of the first down. You know how many missed tackles Lawrence has this year? They have him for zero. Zero missed tackles. Big strong hands. <laughs> Indeed. End of the first quarter. 10-7 Clemson. Back after this message and a word from your local ABC station. The massive 82-inch Samsung QLED TV. You can't look away. saved hundreds on our car insurance when we switched to Geico. This is how it made me feel. It was like that feeling when you're mowing the lawn on a sunny day, and without even trying, you end up with one last strip that's exactly the width of your mower. When you're done, it looks so good you post a picture on social media. 
and it gets 127 likes. GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. It's TV's number one new comedy. Oh, good. The Connors, Tuesday on ABC. Wake up with Tanya and Terrell. Get complete local coverage, traffic, and your AccuWeather forecast. Tanya Bevich, Terrell Brown, ABC 7 Eyewitness News in the morning. A February to remember. A June to remember. Or an October to remember. starts with a December to remember. Find the gift that keeps on giving at the Lexus December to Remember sales event. Experience amazing at your Lexus dealer. Xfinity X5, a more powerful way to stay connected. It gives you super fast speeds for all your devices. Enhanced coverage and lets you control your network with the X5 app. It's the ultimate Wi-Fi experience. Xfinity X5. Simple, easy, awesome. Get started with Xfinity Internet for just $29.99 a month for 12 months. Plus, ask about X5 pods for even more coverage. Click, call, or visit a store today. A few degrees warmer tomorrow, your forecast after the game. Start of the second quarter here in Chestnut Hill. I think Dexter Lawrence blows up the third and one play. Hackens, Dillon, and Alkirk, all the front four for Clemson. The starters out there on this punt team. Carlson gets it away. Rogers makes a fair catch. And the Tigers will begin from the 37. Kickoff week 10 with Sunday NFL countdown over on ESPN, 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. One on one with Aaron Donald, NFL's best. Defensive player, sharing his secrets, second a quarterback, former Pitt Panther, plus nine months after the Super Bowl. The stories of a magical night in Philly that has filled the city's maternity wards with babies named Nick, Carson, and even Lily Lily. <laughs> Play on Philly Philly, I guess. How about Aaron Donald's alma mater, the Pitt Panthers? Starting to play with some confidence, more than likely could end up being the opponent if Clemson ends up clenching. Playing the ACC championship. There's another keeper for Lawrence. They've done more of that tonight than they typically do, and a hard tackle by Isaiah McDuffie. And he, and he has that skill set. He can do that at 6'6, 215. Go back to the years when Taj Boyd was a quarterback, and of course Deshaun Watson. Run just enough to make the defense aware of it so they don't just lock in on the running back on that look. Second and eight, Lawrence play action, flips it into the bench. There was nobody there. Higgins was well covered that time, and Allen was in his face again. Yeah, the, the combination of really good coverage by Sebastian, number 10 against Higgins, along with the defensive line doing their job of getting in there and getting pressure. Hey, Zach Allen is having a heck of a first half tonight for BC. Let's see if he's able to make a play here on third down. Tigers yet to convert on third, 0 for 3. He's in the starting box, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. Adjustments being made on both sides. Play clock at five. Here comes the pressure. Lawrence gets it away. Loops it downfield. What a beautiful throw. And Kendrick crosses the field. Actually retreated. Tackle back at the 28, but boy, can the quarterback sling it a long way. They brought blitz. They leave their corners on islands, and look at the job of, of the receiver this time getting behind the coverage. Kendrick just beats his man one-on-one, -on -one, able to get behind him. There's not going to be that safety help. So you're out there on that island. You cannot afford to miss the way Cheevers did that time. Great route, great job of connecting there with Kendrick. And backwards after the catch, but still got 32 yards. Tigers threatening again. And ETN breaks a tackle on the edge, and ETN sprinting down, knocked out just shy of the 10-yard line. 
They make the corner, make the play here, Cheevers. You see the receiver come in and block the safety up here. By blocking the safety, it allows ETN to make the corner. There's the block on the safety. Now make that corner. Cheevers have to make that one-on-one -on -one play. That's a tough thing to do for an undersized corner. ETN gets the best of him, gets down the field, and picks up more yards. Adam Choice spells him in this first down play. Choice almost to the right side, knocked down by Strahan after two yards. This offense is so challenging to defend because they are balanced, but they're also incredibly explosive running and throwing. So when you're trying to get an extra hat as a safety down to help against ETN, you're going to leave yourself one-on-one -on -one with a quarterback with a big arm and really talented receivers. So you're playing a little bit of a cat and mouse game with Trevor Lawrence and with his Clemson offense trying to try to trick them with your looks and disguising your looks. ETN back in the game. He's got a couple of hard-earned yards. Strahan, the top tackler in this defense, was there again. And he just filled that hole nicely. Guys played a lot of football. Get this Clemson offense again to third down. Clemson just one of four here early in this game. If T. Higgins is left alone, he's always an option for them down in this area. The big wide receiver at 6-4. Going against Hamp Cheevers is about a 5-9 corner on the left side of the formation. And now Dabo sprinting down the field, showing some excellent wheels. At almost 49 years old to get the timeout. He might have broken his own record for the 40 there, Kirk. Yeah, well, he sprints onto the field before every game. This is a pretty good effort. He must have been warmed up from that sprint. He decides to get that timeout in. And Start slowly and then boom. Go, 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 go. <laughs> That's 4-7-ish. Give him a 4-7 there. Do. Do your thing. Be driven. Powerful. Be inspired. Be extraordinary. Turn off the highway and soar. Spread your wings. Mazda. Feel alive. Now at Arby's, you can get 30 euros for $90. Or for those who aren't trying to cater a Greek family reunion, they're two for six. Arby's, we have the meat. For sandwiches. This is the face of a man watching football on the super big Samsung QLED TV. He's cheering on the inside. The 4K Samsung QLED TV. Samsung Black Friday offers start now. I'm the play-by-play -play announcer who's in your ear all game long. And the more praise I heap on your team, the more excited you get. Touchdown! Now, you don't hear the upstairs toilet overflowing, and I don't mean with confidence. You wanted a bowl season? You got a bowl season. And if I could show up on game day, imagine what could happen the rest of the week. So get all state and be better protected from mayhem like me. How can we say when you book direct at choicehotels.com, you always get the lowest price in our rooms, guaranteed? Let's say it in a really low voice. Carl? Lowest price guaranteed. Just stick with bada book, bada boom. Book now at choicehotels.com. great with steak and shrimp more shrimp and you know what goes great with that shrimp you guessed it more shrimp steak and unlimited shrimp starting at $15.99 only at Outback Sunday the music we're taking over the costumes light up shoes the sets it's gonna be epic it's all Junior's Choice I have a few ideas first no. oh, Junior's Choice we're in charge of this case yeah. oh. Dancing Juniors ABC Sunday 
Big third down play. The Eagles starting quarterback Anthony Brown knocked out. They got 23 yards total offense. So Clemson now trying to stretch the lead, get it to double digits. Need to get to the two for a fresh set of downs. ETN is the back. From the pocket, Lawrence surveys and just slings it out of the end zone. Nobody open. Good coverage, pressure again, and it's fourth down. Yeah, they, that time they did not blitz, didn't come with a late pressure, just rushed four, sat back and played zone. Everybody covered. Lawrence had nothing to do but just to throw the football away there. EC defense, Kirk, just scrapping and clawing. They're giving up a lot of yards, but finding a way to force field goal attempts. Hugel had a chip shot earlier. This is a basically a glorified extra point for a six-point lead. And he knocks it straight through. So a 56-yard drive, and Clemson pads the lead. Leads 13-7. When you finally stop working, will it feel like the end of a journey or the beginning of something even better? When you prepare for retirement with Pacific Life, you can create a lifelong income so you have the freedom to keep doing whatever is most meaningful to you. A reliable income that lets you retire without retiring from life. That's the power of Pacific. Ask your financial professional about Pacific Life today. It can seem unreachable at first. The bar too high, shoes too big. You'll take leaps of faith and fall on your face. But you'll get up. Hard work is 50 sprints before breakfast and another 50 for breakfast. You'll eat it, breathe it, sleep it. The Goodyear blimp doesn't show up for just anybody. So don't be just anybody. Be blimp worthy. Goodyear, more driven. Do. Do your thing. Flee that nest. Seize that moment. Find your inspiration. Be extraordinary. Spread your wings. Mazda. Feel alive. proudly offers wireless and TV discounts to military, veterans, first responders, and their families. Visit att.com slash hero. Saturday Night Football, presented by Walmart on ABC, is brought to you by Pacific Life. Experience the power of Pacific. And Goodyear, hardworking tires that deliver blimp-worthy performance. Tigers and Eagles represented around the world. We salute all of their service on Veterans Day weekend. Aerial coverage provided by Goodyear. When you put in the hours, the reps, and the heart, nothing can keep you from being blip-worthy. Goodyear, more driven. It was really a howling wind a couple of hours ago throughout the day. Rain this morning, but wind has really calmed down. Made it easier on the quarterbacks. And Trevor Lawrence, 11 for 14. Tigers, four possessions and three long drives, but still just a six-point lead. Another returnable kick for Walker, who has produced the only points for BC so far with a punt return. And he'll be knocked down short of the 25. Uh, th this Clemson defense has, has really played well here. Christian Wilkins, the defensive line, gets talked about a lot. Coming back home to the Northeast, has played well in every phase where they're rushing the quarterback here. He ends up knocking Anthony Brown down with a violent hit after the throw. And there's the play Dexter Lawrence made where he splits two Boston College offensive linemen and still makes a play on third and short. He is fired up. He's got a lot of people here watching him. But BC's in his game 13-7. They have 23 yards of offense. 
Only run nine plays. Five of them have been rushes by Dillon. Oh, is an end around and a big gain spoiled is stumbling. He tried to turn the corner was the quarterback Perry is known as a quick runner. Yeah, he had a chance there to pick up some big yards. He just lost his balance, lost his footing. That would have easily been a first down. Back up knows he's just one play away you put it in the refs but you don't really feel prepared for this do you Kirk as a quarterback against this defense and now a reverse and it's Jeff Smith the former quarterback here he can throw very well but he has to just throw it away yeah, and now a flag comes in at the end of the play it's because he I don't think he threw the ball beyond the line of scrimmage it's gonna be intentional grounding he got outside of the pocket pocket obviously but the ball didn't go beyond the line of scrimmage different rules apply when it's not the original quarterback when a receiver throws a pass he didn't get the protection the quarterback does an intentional grounding and system grounding offense number 22 by rule he cannot throw, legally ground the pass as he was not the player that controlled the snap. The foul is the loss of down at the spot of the foul be third down. I appreciate Dave Kataya. Trey backing me up on that one. And it wouldn't have been grounding if he was a quarterback, right? Exactly, because I think it, did. it doesn't matter where it crossed the line. In or out of bounds as long as it crosses the line. But since he wasn't the original person that possessed the ball player, can't do it. Yeah, and that's the kind of trick play that we expected from Scott Leffler. Smith is three for three as a passer coming in. That's his first incompletion, and he can sling it well. But the Tigers are ready for that one. Now it's third and 12. And Perry trying to scramble. You can see he's pretty elusive, and he gets slammed down very hard at the end of the play by Xavier Thomas, the freaky freshman. Yeah, much more natural runner when he gets a chance to, to take off and go. But... Clemson once again will force a punt. Mentioned how BC had nine plays up to 12 plays, 29 yards. Clemson's offense and Trevor Lawrence, we talk so much about it, but Brent Venables and the job he continues to do with his Tigers defense year in and year out. Dominant. Carlson gets the punt away, and this is Rogers who let it bounce, and yeah, just let it go. It's going to be down to the 26. And Clemson back to work up by six. Early second quarter. Scotland has fallen. My wife, my daughter. Taken by the prince. I had to protect my family. The people are desperate for justice. We need to raise an army. I could talk about God, but he has no place where we are going. Outlaw King, rated R. We will be adding a soy option to the cafeteria menu starting in the new year. The east parking lot will be repaved next week, so plan on using the south parking lot instead. You could also use the... Sir? Sir? Escape to football at Buffalo Wild Wings and try our new game day menu featuring $5 brats, cheeseburger and fries, cocktails, and pitchers. Do. Do your thing. Be driven. Powerful. Be inspired. Be extraordinary. Turn off the highway and soar. Spread your wings. Mazda. Feel alive. Hey, Portal, call Rory. Happy birthday! Oh, you remembered. Of course I remembered. You're my sister. Well, what'd you get me? Uh, I got you... This. Is half dead. Just like you. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Wait till your birthday comes. <laughs> I am on a journey to help people find time to relax. Are you ready for the journey, Elizabeth? How did you get in here anyway? The cat flap. That makes sense. Relax with the real ginger taste of Canada Dry. Now with a two for six deal, pick from the new crispy chicken tenders, or the crispy chicken sandwich, or the spicy crispy chicken, or the flame grilled whopper. 
match or mix. Any two will cost you six. Only at Burger King. Brad Paisley and Carrie Underwood host the CMA Awards live Wednesday on ABC. Week 10 of Monday Night Football. Odell Beckham, Saquon Barkley, and the Giants in San Francisco. Two teams in desperate need of a win. 8-15 on ESPN. You get Tess, Booger, Lisa, Jason Tessator, whose son John is redshirting as a kicker. Definitely looking in tonight in the West Coast as he does his prep. Wondering how BC is going to generate offense with Anthony Brown knocked out of the game. Travis Etienne tests the left side. Short game. You, know, you, you come in wanting to work on tempo, wanting to throw caution to the wind, and then Anthony Brown slammed to the ground by Wilkins. And Perry's going to do the best he can, but yeah. it feels like first down is going to be hard to come by for Boston. College. Yeah, it does feel that way. And, and I tell you, when you lose a quarterback like that, it puts a lot, a lot of pressure on your defense. And the defense up to this point, yeah, you're, you're giving up some yards, but they've, they've really done a good job of locking things down in the red zone. Five receiver look. They throw it to Renfro. It's a tough job for a linebacker to cover him. Strahan's a good player, but that's a mismatch there. Yeah, in space, it's kind of an option route that they give him, and just it's almost like just playing down in some one-on-one -on -one basketball. You just get down and try to make a move wherever the defender goes. You're going to just try to set him up and go the other way and gives him a chance here on, on third and short. In a phone booth, you'd like the linebacker's chance, but he's yeah, not, not 25 out. pounds. Against <laughs> Too much space. Third and two, ETN lined up seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. And he's got the ball, but not the first down. The Eagles were stout in there. It's a strong play by Tanner Carafa. This defensive line is playing great. Here he is, uh, right here on the outside. It's like it's Zach Allen involved in there as well, but Carafa with this defense across the board, veteran guys, guys that have played a lot of football, they pinched down anticipating an inside run. They blitzed from the safety spot with Will Harris and Jim Reed continuing to just kind of hang in there with this BC defense. They're doing a great job on third down. If they can get Clemson to third down, one of the Clemson, Tigers one, one of, for six. Yeah. They were an excellent third down offense coming in. Not a good looking kick by Spires going off the side of his foot. And Walker races up to make a fair catch at the 30. We'll see if the Eagles with backup E.J. Perry at the helm can get something going down by six. Inspiration. Be extraordinary. Spread your wings. Mazda. Feel alive. Hi, Tom. How's the college visit? Does it make the shortlist? Yeah, I'm afraid so. It's okay. This is what we've been planning for. Knowing what's important to you is why 7 million investors work with Edward Jones. Peppermint mochas for Leah. On the brighter side, there's magic in the night. Every taste is sweet to me and everything is light. I can't believe it. My grandpa's nose is performing fly of the bumblebee. Now you goof. I can't believe how easy it was to save hundreds of dollars on my car insurance with Geico. Nice. I know, right? Believe it. Geico could save you 15% or more on car insurance. At CarMax, we buy all the cars. Uh, all the cars? All the cars. Old cars? Yes. New cars? Oh, yeah. Sports cars? Indeed. A big old boat-like car? Permission to come aboard. What about a car that's all... 
I don't see why not. What about, let's say, oh, I don't know, a purple van with a painting of a wizard just shooting lightning out of his fingers, riding a unicorn, sneezing rainbows? Definitely. I'm just asking for a friend. Yeah, I figured. Wow. You can get ESPN Plus to stream college football all season long. Search your free trial today by downloading the ESPN app or visiting ESPNplus.com. So Ernest Joseph Perry the fourth, you can call him EJ. BC's backup quarterback back to work with Anthony Brown, knocked out for the game. BC tells us he will not return. It's Dylan, runs right into traffic, steps sideways and manages to get two yards. Yeah, they, they, this this offense is struggling not just because Anthony Brown is out. Remember what they wanted to do? They wanted to be able to run the football. Steve Adazio knew that it would be hard to just run the ball against his talented defense. They had to hit some shots in a play action pass game. What also is affecting them is first and ten, averaging two yards only on first and ten. Gets him behind the sticks. And Dylan running. East and West. He shows the quickness. He's a big man, but you saw the burst there as he got wide in a fast defense. Knocked that a couple yards short. Well, he, he obviously he has great power. You're talking about a tailback at 250 pounds, but what surprises you when you watch him is how nimble he can be and how quick he is with his feet. The other thing is the patience that he has. He's going up against one of the fastest defenses, not just in the ACC, but in the country. He kind of waited for that to develop, patiently waited, and got some yards. Look at all the Tigers crowding the box, expecting a handoff to Dillon. Instead, it's Perry who turns the corner. He's fighting for everything this back. If he stretched the ball across for the him. 40, enough to get the first down. Yeah, yeah good for him. That, that effort right there is what you want to see. And, they told us when they get these first downs, they want to try to really get the tempo going. Watch this. It looks like he's not going to make it. That effort right there is able to allow him to pick up the first down. He had a couple defenders grabbing onto him. J.D. Davis, the linebacker, had him wrapped up, maybe short of the first down, but the effort gets him it. Now play action. Perry under pressure delivers across the middle. And the catch is made by Kobe White in Tigers territory. A first and ten play action. Good call. And Farrell low unloads on him. Watch 99. How about that? You're a backup quarterback. Haven't played a lot of meaningful snaps. And boom, you get drilled as you throw that ball by one of the best pass rushers in the country. And he throws a dime right on the money. White has the best hands in the team and on a cold night, and now the snap is airmailed, and Perry has to chase it down. Still loose, and he'll finally collect it, but way back at the 26-yard line. They lose about yeah. 35 on that play. And the ball was high, but catchable. I mean, it came back. I mean, that's that's a that's a snap that you know he's got to be able to take in, and then you know he was such a hurry to get back there that he almost ends up losing the ball and it's at this point they just want to be smart here on second and third down yeah, officially a 32 yard loss just when it seemed like Perry had sparked the offense wasn't expecting that snap and now he's going to be knocked down they're having difficulty doing the simplest thing in football right now yeah that that, that one that one again Levy was going in motion Watch him, man. The ball almost hits him. They caught a break there. The Perry actually wasn't looking into the secondary, and the ball would have gone by him a, a second time. What do you have, Coach, in third and 47? I, I, think, I think you cut your losses, and you just run the ball here. Or... Well, there's a low snap. Pressure again. It's a screen. And Levy was going to be surrounded and hammered as the Eagles continue to move backwards. It got all the way to the Clemson 42 at the beginning of the series, which will end inside their own 20. Yeah, that was right after the first and 10 play action. Great throw, a 32-yard loss, and let's see how quick they get in there on that screen. That play obviously never really had a chance at all, just more of a safe call to avoid any more disaster. It's mm -hmm. like Simmons, Isaiah Simmons, very talented, nickel back outside linebacker, 11, a little dinged up there for the Tigers. Linebacker talked to him this week, just an incredibly freaky athlete. They want him to be a little bit more disciplined. He's not always lined up perfectly, but it's hard to criticize him when he's getting in and making plays all the time. He's one of my favorite guys on their defense. Defensive line gets a lot of attention. You watch the, play, you watch the film, and 11, 
flashes a lot for this defense. Took over for Dorian O'Daniel, who's a great player. You know, Simmons dreamed to be an Olympic medalist in the long jumper as a as a runner, and now Rodgers is bumped into. It's a muff. The Eagles have the football. He's claiming he was hit before the ball got there. There's no flag for kick catch interference. Torres got down there and bumped into him. I, I, mean, I can't believe there's not a flag. They're talking about this. Torres. He was on the field. That the punt was muffed and recovered by the kicking team. It'll be first down for Boston College. He signaled fair catch. And an eagle ran right in front of him. Let's get Dave Katai in there to see if that was enough to constitute the penalty, which wasn't thrown, Dave. Oh, wow. Well, it is a foul. He contacted him. The only way out of that, if he was blocked into him. Now, watch the little push there. That's not a block enough. Right there is the contact. Fair catch signal is immaterial. You have to give him room to catch it. Should have been a foul. And this is this is not reviewable. No, it's not. And Dabo Sweeney wants to vent anyway. Rodgers has difficulty fielding punts. He's muffed a few this year, but you can't put that one on him. No, I, I, I'm shocked there wasn't a call. I mean, Torres hustled down, but he did get a little bit of a push, but that was not enough. It could be considered a block. And Torres was right in the way of Rodgers as he was trying to handle the punt. He muffed one against Syracuse that, that set up an orange touchdown in that game. Was a was a big moment in the, in the narrow escape for the Tigers. The rule on the field is that the punt was muffed and recovered by the kicking team. Replay is initiating a review of the play. Previous play is under review. So Joe Ryder is going to look and see if they had if he had control of the ball. Right. Therefore, which would make it dead. Right. Not the foul, not what we thought could have been a penalty, but whether or not he had his foot in bounds when he had possession of the ball. There was a little bobble there after he picked up the football. There's a little bit of a bobble. I think his right foot was planted though when he picked up the ball. Dave, what, what did you see on, on that replay? What I'm seeing here is he's got possession. Okay, he's got control, control, control. To me, he has possession. I don't see anything that would change that part of the call on the field. That part's reviewable. What isn't reviewable is the foul. Which you think should have been thrown, clearly. I think so. Uh, there was contact. That contact, in my opinion, was not severe enough or did not cause the contact with the, with the uh, receiver catching the ball. The so angle from behind him, you can't see, can't see if the, the ball yeah. is happening. But uh -oh. Joe Ryder is the replay official for this ACC crew checking it out. Dabo Sweeney, though, is just hot. He feels that Rodgers was interfered with. How, how do you what do you do with a fourth and 49? I guess you, yeah. you punt it away and hope they might <laughs> think about this now they, they had the big return for a touchdown and, and now maybe catch this break on the field stands. Yeah. There, there wasn't anything based on the review there that could overturn that. So now Boston College which has struggled mightily to put together drives and got their only points on a punt return. By Walker is now set up at the Clemson 42, which is exactly where they were set up after the catch before the disastrous last sequence, right here. Remember, he's getting his feet under him now. They had a little success with a play action pass. He feet Dylan, who tries to get wide and is going to be knocked down at the 40 yard line as a flag that came in. May have been a hold in that far side. I think on the right side of the offensive line. Holding offense number 64 10 yard penalty first down. We got the sophomore tackle Ben Petrula. He's trying to help Dylan get the edge. Yeah, 64 right there matched up with Austin Bryant. The reason he was able to get that edge is a hold there. Oh, Bryant did a good acting he job did. to make more of it. Sold, he, he sold it well. And this is not an offense that's built to to get behind the chains. You, you you have success you get to those second and five second and six third and short last thing they want to do in any offense but especially this offense is get behind like this spot foul would be a seven yard penalty and now cj lewis the lanky sophomore from hamden connecticut stopped for a short game by farrell 
We've really got to give E.J. Perry some, some credit here. A guy that's not played a lot of football. This game's moving very fast for him and playing against a very good defense. Offensive coordinator Scott Leffler trying to adjust the game plan that they had prepared all week for, trying to stay within it, but at the same time try to work through Perry's strengths. And now Perry looking to throw a screen and has to chuck it away. Heavy pressure that time from Farrell. And a flag is down on the far side just at the time of the snap. Signaling false start to Clemson. Likely to decline this penalty. It'll make it third and 15. Perry came in, made his debut at Fenway Park, no less. A win over UConn after Brown was knocked out last November. Offense, five players in the backfield. That penalty is declined. Result of the plays, third down. Twice BC getting to the Clemson 42 and then going backwards. They are a long way from the field goal range of Colton Lichtenberg. They don't try long field goals at Boston College. Here comes the four man rush. Perry steps up and delivers. No chance to make a play. Trying to get the ball to Walker, but he was well covered and it's fourth down. It's the beauty of having this defensive line put that kind of pressure on a quarterback on third down. You can sit back play zone not have to live on those islands and still make it feel like that quarterback feels a sense of urgency to get rid of the football think about a front four that has 62 combined career sacks all of them NFL bound but not soon enough for the rest of the ACC Run by Carlson does a nice job gets backspin and goes out of bounds at the 10 yard line the bear with this week's Aflac fact First, what do you have for us? Dabo Sweeney, incredible success. Ah, 110 and 30 in his 11th season as this Clemson head coach. Did you know his first win as Clemson head coach? Came back here 2008 at Chestnut Hill against BC. Indeed. That was yeah. a very young Dabo Sweeney, not yet 40 years old, interim head coach. And he got the, the Gatorade bath after the Tigers won here 10 he years was, ago. He was actually telling us about that, uh, that story on the field before the game and talked about. Uh, important C.J. Spiller was to to that win and he actually brought C.J. Spiller on this trip this year to kind of celebrate that anniversary. First down play action throw and Lawrence gets it to Higgins. Here's a game you're talking about. I mean the world did not know who Dabo Sweeney was in November of 2008. They do get the victory here. And there's Dabo the first of many Gatorade bass. They got him with the orange stuff. He was very calm, very relaxed for a, a team that's got all this playoff pressure as Lawrence rolls out and launches downfield. A deep throw for Kendrick, and it battle for and broke it up very nicely by Sebastian. That was freshman versus freshman down there. Yeah, what was really nice is the fact that Trevor Lawrence came off for of the receivers underneath and worked all the way back to try to get the ball to Kendrick because the safety, Will Harris, came up tight. He had a one-on-one -on -one matchup, but give all the credit again to Sebastian. Living out there, one-on-one, -on -one, knows he's got to make a play, and actually, he's the tallest corner that they have that plays man-to-man -man at 6-1. Did a nice job of going up and knocking that ball away. Tigers who struggled, again, just one for six on third down, need two yards here. Lawrence, shovel pass inside the ETN, who spins for a first down across the 25. Great, great adjustment by Tony Elliott and Jeff Scott. They've been getting a lot of blitzes, a lot of pressure from the outside, so this time they go underneath that. See, there's the pressure, do a good job of almost baiting that pressure, anticipating maybe a quick throw, and go right underneath the pressure from the safety, Will Harris. Counts as a pass until Lawrence 14 of 18, 179 yards in this first half. Looking to throw it again. Off the edge, Allen was pressuring him. Downfield shot is over the head of Justin Ross, the speedy freshman. Cheevers in coverage, but once again, that's all about Allen's pressure. Yes. It's 285 pounds being able to win this matchup, and he's giving Ankrum all he can handle on that right side of the offensive line, and they were fortunate because look at that. 
you see the quickness of Justin Ross. He's a true freshman. And Cheever's trying to do everything he can to hold on to his hip or his jersey, anything. And if he had time, that was a chance for a big play for Clemson. And second and ten, Lawrence looks to throw on the far sideline. Sliding catch made by Higgins. Back shoulder throw and an acrobatic grab at the 40. First down. You know, Jeff Scott, who works as a co-offensive coordinator and works with the wide receivers, says that this group is, is maybe the area that has improved the most from where they were last year. Just a mature group, very serious about their preparation, and obviously have tremendous skill. Throws a back shoulder, loses his footing, but still the focus to be able to make that catch. Well, you look at T. Higgins, Justin Ross, go all the way around this group. It's a talented group. Mitch Hyatt, their best offensive lineman, left tackle is out, so a true freshman, Jackson Carmen, is in the ball game. And Lawrence, another downfield shot. Higgins over his fingertips. The play was there to be made. Dennis was trailing the receiver. And he had time this time. He had all the time that he needed, and he just missed it. I mean, those are the plays that Clemson's been hitting this year. You know, they, they, have, they have as many explosive plays of 20 yards or more Coming into this game, they have 60. All of last year, they had 60 plays of 20 yards or more. So those are the plays that Lawrence has been hitting. That time, just overthrows a wide-open T. Higgins. Explosive running and throwing. Yeah. Much more so than the championship team of 16, led by Deshaun Watson. Scoring quicker. Play clock running down. Two seconds to snap it. Lawrence gets it out, delivers far side, and dragged down immediately is Ross. Good open field tackle by Dennis. Well, this, this secondary on passing downs, they are running all over the place after the snap, doing everything that they can to try to give Trevor Lawrence and these receivers one look, and then after the snap, running almost, in some cases, all the way to the other side of the field, trying to hope to catch him napping and see if he can throw one into coverage. Choice is the back on third and six. Eagles are showing pressure off the edge, and they bring it. Lawrence stands, delivers a strike across the middle to Ross. What a throw and catch. First down at the Eagles 40. Here's an example of where they're moving, and this time it backfires on him. Watch him clear out after the snap, and when they jump, when they end up moving like this, you end up seeing that crease, and he feels that, and he slides it right in there. So that time, Dennis moves out as, again, by disguising, it opens up that skinny post. Tigers trying to play with tempo. Eagles brought in some fresh defenders. Lawrence pitches it, a long throw. Catch made by Rodgers, who's gonna be corralled after about a five-yard gain. Final seconds of the first half, Sweeney spends a timeout as they try to work toward field goal range, or Perhaps take a shot at the end zone. We'll see if they can add to the six-point lead. Fidelity is redefining value. Introducing zero account fees for brokerage accounts. And zero minimums to open an account. At Fidelity, those zeros really add up. seconds from the Capital One halftime report with Kevin Nagandi, Mac Brown, and Jonathan Vilma. Update you on what's going on around the country. LSU in front. I see over Arkansas tonight. Irish were hammering the Seminoles, which everyone's been doing this season. No more timeouts for Clemson, Kirk, so it's going to be difficult for them to run the field goal team out if they get tackled inbounds. A yeah. first down, of course, would stop it momentarily to get up and spike it. Yeah, th this is something that, that Clemson prides themselves on, and, and they have a quarterback that, even though he's young, has a great uh, great amount of poise in these kind of situations. But, yeah, first down, fire the ball, kill the clock, and obviously getting out of bounds and what they're trying to do right now. Not yet in field goal range, we don't think, for Greg Hugel. Lawrence thought about going downfield, oh. gets sacked, and that's going to do it. Clock ticking down. They don't have any timeouts. Can they get a spike? Well, they got receivers 25 yards downfield, taking forever to get back. 
Four, three, at sack. Makes it a, well, he spiked it, but did they preserve one second? The Eagles are lobbying, say the half is over. Isaiah McDuffie got in there. That's the one thing that the young quarterback could not do in that situation. Yeah, yeah and that's that's the inexperience. I mean, the, the talent is there, has a tremendous amount of confidence in his arm, like most young quarterbacks with with the, with with big talent at arms. He has a lot of confidence in his receivers, but he held on, obviously too long there. He should have just gotten rid of the ball, they thrown that one away, and saved some time. Yeah, they concluded there was a second to go, so the Eagles drop everybody back, and this figures to be a. Hail Mary to end the half. I'm out, Boston College. We know this. Lawrence has got the arm to get it there. And they've got some big receivers to go up and get the football. And a wise timeout. BC's, you know, they don't carry over. Might as well spend one here to figure out how to get to defend this. But a first half in which Clemson has gained 260 yards. Boston College has 24 yards of total offense. And one yard rushing. How about if you told Steve Adazio yesterday in the meetings, you're going to get to the half, potentially down just 13 to 7. Remember, his whole goal is what? Let's drag him into the fourth quarter. Let's see if we can get him to the fourth quarter being within striking distance. If you would have said you're only down six at half and you have one yard rushing, he wouldn't have believed that. And that's an offense that averages 226 yards rushing in their two losses to Purdue and NC State. The ground game was limited, but not like this. See, he's, he's going to drag him into the third quarter. Yeah. So, Clemson has nine plays inside the 15-yard line, and they only have a, the one touchdown in the fourth, uh, the fourth down play and the two field goals. Three receivers to the right, all of them big guys. And Lawrence rolls that direction and just launches to the end zone. It's a mass jump ball, but out of bounds. Gave nobody a chance to make a play. And so Boston College, despite paltry offensive production in the first half, still down only six points. Lawrence throws it 25 times for 216 passing yards. Not bothered by the cold or the wind at all. No, bothered by Jim Reed's defense and yep. not being able to close inside the red zone. Four times they've been in the red zone, only one touchdown. Eagles lose their starting quarterback, Anthony Brown. Let's hear from Coach Adazio with Maria Taylor. All right, Coach, your defense was able to hold on the very last series. Yeah. What have you seen from that side of the ball this entire well, night? Well, I think we're playing really hard on defense. We've given up a couple of deep balls, but that's hard not to. So we're playing aggressive. I think we're going after them. we got to settle down on offense right now. We lost our quarterback, and we just got to go back in at halftime and get, get, get ourselves settled down, readjust our attack now. You know, and uh, we just got out of sync there a little bit. So we'll go back in, figure all that back out, get our, a new plan together here and, and to accommodate EJ and, and and just come back and get to work again. What are some of those adjustments you feel like you have to make? Well, you know, EJ's, you know, has got really a lot of legs. He can run a lot of options. We're probably going to have to take a look at some of that and um, just the exact throws we want to utilize with him and make sure we're secure with our specials with him in there. And just, he, he's a competitive, tough kid, and he'll be fine. We just got to, we have to settle down and just readjust our plan. All right, thanks, Coach. Yeah, you're welcome. Our buddy Lee Corso, Kirk always says, improvise and adjust. That's what coaches have to yeah. do. On the will have to do that at halftime. They'll get the ball to begin the third quarter down only six to number two Clemson end of the first half at Chestnut Hill Capital One halftime report is coming up right after these messages this season keep your stories interessante just like Dos Equis the only beer used to water every college football field mm, delicioso Dos Equis keep it interessante Know what goes great with steak and shrimp? More shrimp. And you know what goes great with that shrimp? You guessed it, more shrimp. Steak and unlimited shrimp starting at $15.99. Only at Outback. So we want to make sure you're covered properly. Okay, State Farm, let's just say hypothetically that someone used Aaron's bathroom and that person lit a candle and the candle accidentally lit a towel on fire and the towel charred the wall. What would that... Weren't you just in the bathroom? I've never been in a bathroom. Not once. How does that work? Well, I meditate, and I make it go away. It smells like you burn some. We should definitely investigate it. Go with the one that's here to help life go right. State Farm. I want to give my family a great entertainment system. Where do I start? At home. 
Oh, yeah? Yeah, with us. An in-home consultation. Really? And it's free. Free expertise at your place? That's quite a stocking stuffer. I've heard a lot about Samsung 4K QLED TVs. They're great. And when we look at your space, we'll know how to build the best system for you. I want to give Santa some real competition this year. Shall we set up that consultation then? Yeah, let's do it. I wonder if they come in through the chimney. When it comes to finding great deals, it's always good to get a head start. <laughs> no matter who you are. So hurry to Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's for huge pre-Black Friday savings. Like this Cabela's 10-tray deluxe dehydrator for under $100. A master-built Sportsman Elite extra-wide smoker for under $180. And a Bass Pro 30-quart aluminum turkey fryer for under $40. Shop in-store or online to get free two-day shipping. Welcome to the Capital One Halftime Report. Clemson has the lead 13 to 7 and, and JB honestly BC lucky no Anthony Brown and they got a special teams touchdown they're they're lucky it's a six point game they really are but I give credit to BC not being scared playing as tough as they possibly can that BC defense doing very well Michael Walker to the house yeah Scott Leffler's got to do a great job as the offensive coordinator here at halftime changing the game plan for the backup changing the game plan Notre Dame not playing with Ian Book Brandon Wimbush what did you see from this game plan from the Irish Mac well, I'm talking about 35-year-old Chip Long. The offensive coordinator at Notre Dame has done a fabulous job this week with Brandon Wimbush. Three touchdown passes in this game, but he stayed balanced with the running game as well. Great job by Notre Dame. You're right, Matt. That's, that's young, innovative offensive coordinator doing a great job getting Dexter Williams involved as well. Brandon Wimbush looks very good, very capable being the backup quarterback. What an adjustment by Mac there. Notre Dame, 32-13. Macs are great athletes. Macs are great Jesus. athletes, right? That's what <laughs> I was the studio. Kevin Degani alongside the great athlete that is Mac Brown and Jonathan Velma. And then there's John. Let's go to the Oldest We're rivalry, 123rd meeting between Georgia and Auburn. In the beginning, the Tigers get a little trickier with the offense. you got to do that against Georgia on the road. They're up 7-3, and then after that, J.B., though, all dogs. All dogs, all dogs. Georgia running game. You see Jake Fromm. We talked about him playing outstanding. He's consistently throwing outside the numbers for touchdowns now. And then that opens up the run game. You watch DeAndre Swift. He's having a monster game as well. This is on fourth down from a Tyler Look at that. You're not going to catch him. That's yeah. a touchdown. They got so many options and weapons. And then Tyler, uh, Terry Good, Godwin there for the touchdown. And then DeAndre Swift we on go. the ground. And yeah, Georgia's rushed for 265 yards to only 82 for Auburn. These two backs have had monster nights for the University of Georgia. 27 to 10, Georgia in control. Early parts of the fourth quarter. Speaking of control, second straight shutout against ranked teams. First time that Alabama's done that in the AP poll era. They looked good against Mississippi State. Yeah, Mississippi State had great defense tonight, but Mississippi, or, but they gave uh, uh, too many opportunities to Alabama. Missed field goal, muff punt. Had a touchdown call back for a penalty. Next yeah. for Alabama Citadel and then Auburn and Georgia. Meanwhile, how about Bedlam? Boy, JV, this was your kind of game, right? No, it was not my kind of game. I would have much rather talked about Alabama's defense and Mississippi <laughs> State's defense than watching this atrocious defense that happened here between these two and Bedlam. But give credit to Oklahoma, credit to Kyler Murray. They did a phenomenal job getting that victory. And the only bit of defense was played coming up when we see the stop in the two-point conversion. Yeah, but was it really a bad defensive play or just a bad pass by Look, Taylor Cornelius? 12, it was great defensive play, all right? <laughs> for any other um, conference, it was a bad pass. Give, give Mike Gundy credit. He called it. He went for it. It was open. Just a bad yeah, throw. I like it. I do like the call. Oklahoma holds on. We'll see how the committee views that game 48-47. Meanwhile, number nine, West Virginia at home. Will Greer, three touchdowns against TCU. Yeah, Will Greer's playing at such a high level. 371 yards passing, three touchdowns, but their defense today helped TCU to minus seven yards rushing. Texas Ooh. right now up 24 to 10. Meanwhile, Iowa State, they win doubling up Baylor. They have a chance to go to the Big 12 title game if they went out. West Virginia loses. We'll see how that plays out. Meanwhile, Michigan, no one's stopping this train against Rutgers. Shea Patterson and Nico Collins wide open. Nine straight wins for the Wolverines and Indiana's next at home and then Ohio State. And speaking of the Buckeyes, they would get a win. 26 to 6 in East Lansing. With that, Setting we will see down, down the in road, two weeks. Right in two weeks for the Big Ten East. I can't we wait. We know who won the Big Ten West. 
And surprise, guys, it is Northwestern. These guys just know how to win, especially in conference games. <laughs> they stayed on the field, but they also helped Iowa to three for 13 on third downs. Hard to win in Iowa City. Good job, Northwestern. Congrats to the Cats. The Timberwolves have reached an agreement to trade Jimmy Butler to the Sixers. That is the big story in the NBA today, according to league sources telling ESPN. The Sixers trading forwards Robert Covington and Dario Saric. And this trade will be official, expected on Monday. More after this. The Capital One Halftime Report is brought to you by the Capital One Saver Card. What's in your wallet? Saver card. Earn 4% cash back on dining and 4% on entertainment. Now when you go out, you cash in. What's in your wallet? On a tense Fansville by Dr. Pepper. What is it? It's the new neighbor sheriff. The referees. Holy Tuscos. We don't need their whistles keeping us up at night. Look, they're putting up replay cameras. I can't, I can't do it. Who's making the calls here, Sheriff? I'm out. Maybe we should give him a chance. Hey, neighbor, welcome to Fransville. Offsides. That was a very neighborly. Dr. Pepper, the official drink of Fansville. I'll call you if I need you. Uh, you left your phone by the bike. Exactly. <laughs> Tuesday, ABC Funny has everything you need. Oh, I like it. A new Connors has a big night out. We're going to hit the strip club. You're welcome to join us if you want to. I'll pass. While well, new kids are all right, are home alone. Our main job today is keeping that alive. It all starts Tuesday, 8, 7 central. Lucky. On ABC. DirecTV wants to know, what's your college football thing? Is it a family tradition thing? Or perhaps a crazy rivalry thing? or whatever this thing is, thing. More for your thing, that's our thing. Watch college football on ESPN anytime, anywhere with DirecTV. Welcome back to the Capital One Halftime Report. To celebrate the college football playoff semifinal at the Capital One Orange Bowl, Capital One is putting on a free concert in South Beach on December 28th. The Capital One Beach Bash will be headlined by Dave Matthews Band with special guests, Walk the Moon. If you can't make it to the show, tune into the Capital One Orange Bowl halftime show to see a look-in of Dave Matthews Band at the Capital One Beach Bash. Back to the action on the field. Mac JV, number eight Washington State visiting Colorado. And, and Washington State, a lot of people thought this was going to be a game that could be trouble for the Cougars. It wasn't. It wasn't, and credit the defense. Offensively, we know about Gardner Minshew and the offense playing very well. Defense only giving up seven points. That is tremendous and making a statement for Washington State. First win for Mike Leach in Boulder. Meanwhile, how about this? Herm Edwards now 6-4 and four, Arizona State in complete control of the Pac-12 South. They control their own destiny. They get that win. UCF number 12 in the land and it's Mackenzie Milton continuing the dominance with the offense. Yes, he's one of the best quarterbacks in the country. 17-21 to 21 today. 200 yards. He ran for 62. He's got such a quick release and he's accurate. He's going to make it hard for them to beat. 22 straight wins for the Knights. Meanwhile, Mike Miami and Georgia Tech right now take Juan Marshall the Brad Stewart for 31 yards and how about the Yellow Jackets in the air they're doing a great job of the running and in the air have complete control of this game right now a six point lead six point lead that's it with the Capital One Venture Card you'll earn unlimited double miles on every purchase every day not just airline purchases Think about all the double miles you could be earning. Holy moly, that's a lot of miles! Shh. What's in your wallet? 
aren't you Kirk Herbstreet? Oh, I get that all the time, but I do love game day. Oh, I love game day. You're Desmond Howard. I wish. So, you doing any tailgating this weekend? Yeah. And we've got everything you might need. Charcoal, grills, even generators. We'll get you ready for game day. Okay, you're the Corso. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> know your game day stuff with this real be cordless blower now just 119 bucks. ESPN College Game Day, built by the Home Depot. How did Arby's finally make the turkey sandwich exciting? We deep fried it. Just the turkey part, not the whole sandwich. For now. Arby's, we have the meat for sandwiches. Let's do an ad of a man eating free waffles at Comfort Inn. They taste like victory because he always gets the lowest price on our rooms guaranteed when he books direct at choicehotels.com. Or just say bada book, bada boom. Book now at choicehotels.com. Celebrate the 100th episode of Blackish with a tribute to Prince. I got this. Who was that lady singing? Blackish 100th episode event, Tuesday on ABC. There's nothing more thrilling than hosting country music's biggest night. And being a part of these amazing moments. This is the best night of my life. It's an honor to share the stage with the legends that came before. Thank you very much for the bottom of my heart. And the rising stars whose journeys are just beginning. Feel the music. Live the moments. The CMA Awards live Wednesday on ABC. Brought to you by Google. Proud sponsor of the 2018 Country Music Awards. The ESPN app now with ESPN Plus. Get more ESPN and download now. The Capital One Halftime Report is brought to you by the Capital One Venture Card. Earn unlimited double miles on every purchase every day. What's in your wallet? And in part by USAA. Join us in saluting our veterans. Go to USAA.com slash Veterans Day. So proud to say we work with uh, many colleagues who are veterans, including Ian West, who would be proud of the Knights. Army is rolling right now. Six straight wins, 5-0 and at home, now 8-2 and on the season. They dominated Lafayette. Guess how? On the ground, 57 carries, 313 yards as a team. Kalen Holt with the touchdown, and they're undefeated at home. Time for our prime time performers. JV, go. I'm taking Daniel Jones, quarterback for Duke, doing it all today in the 42-35 win over North Carolina. 547 total yards account for four TDs. And guess who they got next, Kev? Mm. Clemson oh. next week. We'll see how that plays out. Nearly 550 total yards. Mac, what you got? I got Quadre Olison ran for 235 yards. Get off touchdowns and Pitts blowout versus Virginia Tech. He capped off the big day 97 yards in the fourth quarter, but... Pitt controls its destiny to reach the ACC championship game. Shades of Tony Dorsett with that run and those uniforms. Trevor Lawrence, Clemson 13-7 with the lead and kicking off the ball to BC to start the second half after this. With Hulu, tailgating's never been better. In the early days, all you had was a radio. And now, Hulu's completely changed the game. Because you don't have to choose between tailgating or watching football on ESPN. You can do both. Two Taco Bell icons were meant to be together. Nothing matches the flaming Hot Fritos of the legendary Beefy Crunch Burrito better than the Tropical Lime Storm of the Baja Blast. The perfect pairing for Taco Bell's latest $2 duo. Broke my personal record. Half what? No. Good break. Good break. Mm. I'm so sorry we can't make your barbecue. I'm just sick about it. Half what? <laughs> Different kind of sick. Mm. If I can't work after surgery, how am I going to pay my rent? All these bills. Aflac! Oh, Aflac. And they pay you cash in just one day. See how Aflac helps cover everyday expenses at Aflac.com. Today is a special day for our rookies. Everybody gets a new training officer. Just looking to get the most out of the experience. Quiet time, starting now. 
You think you're the first rookie to date a cop? You risk losing it completely if you're ever found out. Is that your girlfriend? Hey, kids. Ever been tased? The Rookie, only Tuesday, 10, 9 central on ABC. And catch up on all episodes streaming now and on demand. Watch your team at 6. Judy Sue, Ellen Krzyzewski, meteorologist Larry Mowry, and Sports with Jim Rose. ABC 7 Eyewitness News at 6. Was that your sandwich? No. That was your sandwich. Go-getters, get two with Dunkin' Go Twos. Two sandwiches for two, three, or five bucks. America runs on Dunkin'. What's a gig of data? Well, it's a whole day's worth of love songs. Or 300 minutes of baby videos. A gig goes a long way. That's why Xfinity Mobile lets you pay for data one gig at a time. And with millions of Wi-Fi hotspots included, you'll pay even less for data. Or if you need a lot, we have unlimited two. Plus, get $200 back when you buy a new smartphone. It's simple, easy, awesome. Click call or visit the store today. Bacon, egg, cheese. Only one way to make this better. Another one. Dunkin' Go-To's. Get two bacon, egg, and cheese sandwiches for $5. America runs on Dunkin'. A May to remember. A July to remember. Or a September to remember. All starts with a December to remember. Find the gift that keeps on giving at the Lexus December to Remember sales event. Experience amazing at your Lexus dealer. This college football matchup brought to you in part by Lexus. You're watching Veterans Week coverage on ESPN. Brought to you by USAA. Boston, Kirk. That's taking me back to junior high school. Welcome back to Saturday Night Football presented by Walmart in this presentation of the ACC on ESPN. Chris Kirk and Maria set for the second half. The Eagles will get the football down by six with the backup quarterback EJ Perry at the helm. Clemson, of course, can clinch the division title, a spot back in the ACC championship game with a victory. Eagles with the big upset could seize control of their destiny, but some work to do with Anthony Brown out for the rest of the game. Walker sparked him. A punt return for a touchdown in the first half. Takes the kickoff from the four. Runs straight into a maze. A physical kick returner. And now, what do you do if you're Adagio and Leffler and you got a quarterback that hasn't had a lot of experience and a very tough defense to face? I really loved what he said when he was walking off with Maria. He was very direct. He said, listen, we got to go in at halftime, make some adjustments. He's an option kid. He, he has great feet. we got to tweak our plan that we built all week for our other quarterback, Anthony Brown, and try to fit it to his skill set. So let's see what adjustments they made here as a staff led by Scott Leffler, the offensive coordinator. Ran just 23 plays in the first half and gained a total of 24 yards. This has been their main weapon. This is a guy that averages 128 yards per game, rushing fourth best in the FBS. But Dylan's been held in check. Yeah, he, he sure has. As a team, only four yards rushing. And you're going to have to mix in some early down play action, but still a heavy dose of A.J. Dillon, obviously a big part of their attack. End around. And Kobe White is just hammered hard as you hear the hit by Austin Bryant on the edge. It's a loss. You know, you run that from the right hash into the boundary against this speed. That is a tough ask. Look at this. Christian Wilkins is already there to push White out. And then it's cleaned up by Austin Bryant. Talking about two of the best defensive linemen in the country into the boundary. Chase that down in a hurry. I think Kobe White says, I, I agree with you, Kirk. I didn't love that call there. 
On third down, it's a short throw, and Dylan is immediately upended, flying up was A.J. Terrell, the sophomore corner, and Venable's defense gets him off the field, three and out. Uh, he is fired up because of the way his defense played this third down. He goes with zone instead of man, allows his defensive backs and his linebackers to keep their eyes on a quick throw. Remember, E.J. Perry is a guy that wants to get the ball out of his hands on third down pretty quickly, so he calls up the zone, and a great job by Terrell making that play. Opponents converting 28% of their third downs against Venable's defense. The Eagles just two of eight tonight. That's a booming punt. And Rodgers, who had the controversial muff in the first half, retreats and fields it and gets back to the 37-yard line. To Maria Taylor. I spoke to Dabo coming out of the locker room, and he pointed to those 260 yards of total offense and says, we're doing a great job moving the ball. We just have to do better in the red zone and make some of the plays that are there. He referenced the three deep balls that he felt as though they should have made, and he also said that they have to find the run here in the second half. Only 44 yards rushing for Clemson. They want to get the run game going a little bit more, and of course, he's very satisfied with his defense right now, guys. Yeah, Maria, it's an offense that in 45 red zone trips has scored 35 touchdowns. Only kick six field goals, but only one touchdown in three trips tonight. Etienne spins free. Travis Etienne makes a cut, shows the power and the speed, and gets inside the 40. Boy, it does a great job. We get a safety blitz coming right into the face, right here, right into the face of Travis Etienne, and he's able to bounce off of that. That's the difference between Etienne this year as a sophomore with a year of being in that weight room versus being an explosive runner last year, just that big play threat. He's a more complete back. That was a great example of where he's grown. Yep, but he's averaging six and a half yards in his 10 carries so far tonight. Tigers threatening again, and Lawrence has a clean pocket, zips it across, Renfro makes a cut. Stutter stepping, still alive, finally dragged down at the five. Red throw, so many short catches, makes a big play downfield. Look at the cushion in the matchup. Hunter Renfro, who's as quick and has as good a change of direction as any receiver you're going to see, matched up against Will Harris as safety, who's been blitzing, but he's 210 pounds. He's a physical guy. It's a mismatch. Lawrence takes advantage of it. Great route by 13. We've been seeing that for years. Look, I've had 100 conversations with him in his Clemson career. He's closing in at 2,000 career receiving yards. And now keeper, big fella just waltzes into the end zone. And the Tigers strike quickly with their first possession of the second half. And that's a great call. Mari Rogers on the jet sweep look. They're going to go zone read. Read the end man who collapses down there. McDuffie. And then they walk into the end zone. Let's take a look at the progressive pylon cam. Nice job. Great call. Aggressive call there on first and ten. And Lawrence reads it perfectly that time as McDuffie collapsed down on the back and he walks into the end zone. Yeah, it's his first career rushing touchdown, but the 32nd touchdown on the ground for this Tigers team number two in the FBS. And the lead gets bigger and the mountain gets higher for the underdog Eagles. 20-7, the number two team. We don't take our Jersey Shore roots lightly. We take them heavy. Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. A once in 500 year storm should happen every 500 years, right? Fact is, there have been 26 in the last decade. All state is adapting with drones to assess home damage sooner. And if a flying object damages your car, you can snap a photo and get your claim processed in hours, not days. Plus, Allstate can pay your claim in minutes. Now that you know the truth, are you in good hands? It's not what champions do. It's what champions don't do. They don't back down. They don't settle. And they don't quit. Except for Cable. Cable. Yeah, you quit Cable. Because we are Cougars, and we don't quit. Unless what? Unless it's Cable! Quit Cable and switch to DirecTV and get the most live sports in 4K. More for your thing. That's our thing. 1-800-DIRECTV. Dedication. Attention to detail. And going above and beyond. 
what it takes to do things the right way. With Rocket Mortgage, you can count on us to get your mortgage right. Because when it comes to buying a home, the right way should be the only way. Rocket Mortgage, America's largest mortgage lender and proud supporter of college athletics. Okay, look, if you're not the lead dog, the scenery never changes. That's why this is the view for every other full-size pickup. And this year, it's deja vu all over again. Because only the Ford F-150 with its high-strength, military-grade aluminum alloy body gives you best-in-class torque, best-in-class payload, and you got it, baby, best-in-class towing. Still leading the pack. This is the big dog. This is the Ford F-150. It doesn't just raise the bar, pal. It is the bar. Some places make cheesesteaks in a fancy microwave. That's cute. Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. Next week, Kimmel's got something for everyone. Wow. Emily Blunt, Jeff Bridges, Lin-Manuel Miranda. You don't get more inclusive than that. And oh, yeah. Michelle Obama, you know who that is, right? Yeah, you do. It's the former first lady. Oh, it's you. Kimmel, new next week on ABC. Another reminder, tomorrow morning on ESPN, Sunday NFL Countdown, 10 o'clock Eastern Time. Also live on the ESPN app. You can watch it anywhere. So, Trevor Lawrence earlier threw for a fourth down touchdown to Richard. Waltz is in for his first career rushing touchdown, and the lead is now 13. BC still sitting at 22 yards of total offense. 74-yard punt return, providing the only points by this man, Walker. He'll take a knee. Our Pacific Life game summary shows you the sad news. The sixth Eagles offensive play, and Anthony Brown is slammed down hard by Christian Wilkins, who lands on him with all 315 pounds and is out of the game. Then, a risky play as Walker scoops it up after a touch to Tiger and goes 74 yards to the house. Yeah, and, and really, it's why it kept BC in his football game. And Trevor Lawrence, you see the numbers. Clemson moved the ball down into the red zone the first half four times, only came away with one touchdown. Debo Sweeney towing Maria. Obviously, we talked about it, the importance of scoring in that red zone area in that first possession. They did that very thing with Trevor Lawrence on the option. And Perry to one of the tight ends. That's the top target there, Tommy Sweeney. The Tigers have done a good job defending those tight ends tonight so far. They sure have, and, and getting pressure on the quarterback, Perry. That's a good first and 10 throw instead of waiting till third down. He got six, and now Dylan trying to find a crease. And he will cut spin for a first down. Got out of the tackle of Wallace and out to the 38. You know, when you have a backup quarterback that hasn't played a lot of, of, of snaps, it's important to try to... Clemson's just saying, listen, we're taking A.J. Dillon out of the game. We are locked in on Dillon, and that's where Scott Leffler's trying to come up with other answers to try to slow them down. Dillon cuts back. Tigers with that deep defensive line. Their backups are guys who can start most places. A lot of those in the game right now. Yep. Yeah, I mean, you're looking at nine guys up close to the line of scrimmage. There's a look at a few guys, and they're rotating in. Do a very good job, maybe as good a job as anybody. See all these white jerseys with the orange britches getting up there close to the line of scrimmage, not feeling the threat of anything downfield. Clemson brings out the orange britches when it's a big game, when it's championship time. They can clinch the division tonight. And Perry is spun down by the junior safety Tanner Muse. He feels the most improved defensive back on the team. And Tanner Muse is a, a very talented young man. Belmont, North Carolina, 6'1", 230, and fast. And I think the difference in him now from last year is he understands Brent Venable's scheme. He's communicating better, seeing it, and playing much faster up to that speed level that he has. And he gets there. He doesn't miss tackles. No. It's third and nine. Perry from the pocket delivers a high throw, and it's going to be ruled incomplete. Jeff Smith went up, tried to get a foot down, but I believe it landed on the sideline. He couldn't decide which foot to get down. It was, you know, he's, he's trying to figure out which one could help him try to get that one foot in, and, you know, that left foot looked like it touched the line before the right foot touched. Let's see. Didn't quite see it from that angle. You're right, one foot landed. Which foot it touched? Well, the right foot may have touched first. The left that, toe definitely hit the white. Yeah, but the, let's see. That that was a pretty good angle. That right foot 
hits there, and then the left foot goes down. That may be a catch. If the right foot hit first, it was by a, a millisecond. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you, it looked like that right toe may have touched. Well, they do review it. They don't have to stop the game to get a look at it, and they're satisfied that they saw nothing that would overturn the call. So it is fourth down. That's a, a nice punt that Rodgers makes a fair catch at the 16-yard line. So the Tigers pin back, but up 13. Go back on offense. This is the face of a man watching football on the super big Samsung QLED TV. It's also the face of a man who needs to sneeze. But he won't, because you close your eyes when you sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. Wow. The 4K Samsung QLED TV. When football looks this good, you can't look away. Samsung Black Friday offers start now. Over 100 years ago, we were talking about the Model T. Now here we are. Talking about winning the most J.D. Power IQS and Appeal Awards. Talking about driver assist technology. Talking about cars that talk and listen. Talking about the highest customer loyalty in the country. But that's enough talking. Seriously, that was a lot of talking. Back to building. Peppermint mochas for Leah. On the brighter side, there's magic in the night. Every taste is sweet to me, and everything is light. For a nasty cold, take new Dayquil Severe with Vicks Vapo Cool and vaporize it with an intense rush of Vicks Vapors. New Dayquil Severe with Vicks Vapo Cool. The daytime coughing stuff you had vaporize your cold medicine. goes great with steak and shrimp more shrimp and you know what goes great with that shrimp you guessed it more shrimp steak and unlimited shrimp starting at $15.99 only at Outback Saturday Night Football presented by Walmart on ABC is brought to you by USAA join us in saluting our veterans go to USAA.com slash Veterans Day Samsung QLED TV the official TV of ESPN college football and the Ford F-Series built Ford tough built Ford proud aerial coverage brought to you by Goodyear from the end zone to the uprights nothing comes between hard work and a goal Goodyear more driven Tigers successful in their first possession of the second half. Back on offense. Having allowed just 36 yards total offense to BC now. Keeper again. And Lawrence sets the right side. Able to elude a tackler and his knockdown hard. They're not, uh, not, not trying to get this running. guy some hits, are they? No, not at all. I mean, and, and they keep running this zone read, and, and Boston College continues to take away the backs and giving Trevor Lawrence the read to keep it. Now, he's not as obviously as dangerous a runner as what you see with ETN, but he can go. I mean, for a big guy, he covers a lot of ground. He's 6'6". And puff fake broken up back to the quarterback. He shouldn't have caught it. Allen deflected the pass. Instinct took over as a big loss back inside the five. First things first is that's a great play again. Zach Allen's played his tail off tonight, which you'd expect him to do. Instincts, athletic ability, goes up and knocks it down. And there's the inexperience again with Trevor Lawrence. I know it happens fast, but he's just got to knock the ball down. As soon as it comes back to him, he's an athlete. He instinctively catches the ball. He'll learn from this when they watch the film. He's just got to knock it down and get the ball back to the original line of scrimmage. Mitch Hyatt, the starting left tackle, Kirk still out of the game. Freshman Carmen is in there, left tackle. And this crowd is still energized, still into it. Third and 19, they get it out quickly. Far side to Trevion Thompson. It's a short game, and the Eagles defense forces a punt. 
Yeah, this Zach Allen is a big-time player. We've talked a lot about the Clemson D-line and their futures. You talked about how he loves to watch J.J. Watt film on Fridays to kind of get him in the right mindset. I mean, he's not, maybe not quite as big as J.J. Watt, but his game, his style kind of reminds you of a J.J. Watt type of player. He, whether it's speed rush, getting around, using his hands, defending the run, getting up and knocking balls down, kid is a big-time player. He's an impressive guy, too. 3.8 GPA is a finance major. Talked about his two grandmothers. He, he feels inspired by the work ethic, and Aspires gets the punt away. It's high and short, and Walker makes a fair catch. His two grandmothers, one of them was a single mom who raised three kids. The other grandmother in Russia was put in a Nazi labor camp, and she had the toughness to survive that get out, and he said he's so inspired by both of his grandmothers, Zach Allen. Yeah, I, I, I read that, and I was just blown away. I love to hear stories about some of these players and where their, their background and what they've been through, and for him to talk about the women in his life and both of his grand, grand, grandmothers, had such a, a big uh, role in his and life. He's a modest guy. You're talking about how, what a great player he is and feature he has. He doesn't act like that at all. Really driven to continue to improve and get better. Again, this Eagles offense with good field position gets something going. Perry is chased immediately. You see the quickness that the quarterback has, but all that to just gain three yards. Kendall Joseph, the backer, got in there in a hurry. Yeah, he sure did. And also Trey Lamar. Trey Lamar is a big man. When I came into this game, I thought, okay, I can't wait to watch Trey Lamar at 6'4", 255 against A.J. Dillon. Dillon's got it. Uh, not much. Yeah, Dabo Sweeney says Trey Lamar is built for this kind of game. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I thought we were going to see a lot of collisions between two running the ball and 57 making plays. Look at him, 6'4", he's up to 255 now. I mean, just a big Mike linebacker. Leads the team in tackles. Eagles need five on this third down. It's Glines coming in motion. Perry rolls out and delivers in the flat. And the catch is made by Glines. Nice little route. Good play design. It's a first down. A nice rub route here. Kind of a pick that they use to try to watch the action of the two outside receivers. That gets Glines out into the corner. Man to man. And Joseph, the linebacker, trying to stay with him. And that, that that screen there, the kind of that that rub route opened it up. Quarterback keeper he is swallowed up by Isaiah Simmons. They tried a little deception with a two back look. Clemson wasn't fooled. Well, Austin Bryant takes away the back, so he's going to read Austin Bryant initially. Boom, he takes it away. The only problem is when he pulled it, you talked about Isaiah Simmons is already there. Brent Venables brought heat at the right time there on first and ten. Well schooled. Well prepared, extremely talented up to this challenge tonight so far. Again, two backs in there on second and 15. It's an option look and a big hit on the quarterback. He was cut in half by Muse. Well, Steve Adazio told Maria walking off, we got to try to come up with some answers to kind of some different wrinkles. And we, we lose Brown and we get Perry. We got to take advantage of his ability to run option. And that's what we've seen. They're trying to get him on the edge, trying to run the football more and not just rely on this running game and play action. Figure the Eagles have two plays to get these nine yards. On third down, two tight ends in there. And it's Levy who runs it straight ahead. He delivered the blow. He sure ran did. over Kendall Joseph. It'll be fourth down, offense on the field. Levy had his best game of his young career last week, 11 carries and 75 yards against Virginia Tech, and he ran a lot of the times like that. I think he showed these coaches a little something, and he's going to get more and more of an opportunity to be the change of the pace to A.J. Dillon. So they go for it on fourth and four as expected. Perry looks and delivers, gets made, but not a first down. They have been all over the tight ends. Tommy Sweeney is the leading receiver. Venable says, just like we talked about in yeah, practice. I mean, it, it's exactly how you draw it up. They brought the blitz with Simmons and Joseph, forced him to throw this football short of the first down. Sweeney catches that two yards short, and there's two more defenders, and look who's a happy man. Not long ago, Rhonda started here, and then more jobs began to appear. These techs in a lab, this builder in a hard hat, the welders and electricians who do all of that.
the diner staffed up because they all needed lunch. Teachers, doctors, jobs grew a bunch. What started with one job spread all around because each job in energy creates many more in this town. Energy lives here. The secret to relaxation? No, not this. This Canada Dry Ginger Ale. Join me on a journey of the mind, the soul, and real ginger taste. Relax. So, are you ready for the journey, Elizabeth? How did you get in here anyway? I've been living in the attic with a family of owls. Mm -hmm. Relax with the real ginger taste of Canada Dry. Capital One Saver Card. Earn 4% cash back on dining and 4% on entertainment. Now when you go out, you cash in. What's in your wallet? How can we say when you book direct at choicehotels.com, you always get the lowest price in our rooms, guaranteed? Let's say it in a really low voice. Carl? Lowest price, guaranteed. Just stick with bada book, bada boom. Book now at choicehotels.com. Now, at Arby's, you can get 30 euros for $90. Or for those who aren't trying to cater a Greek family reunion, they're two for six. Arby's, we have the meat. For sandwiches. I think it'll fit. <gasps> Want a performance car that actually fits your life? Introducing the new 2019 Ford Edge ST. Capability meets power in the first SUV from the Ford Performance Team. The new 2019 Ford Edge ST. Brad Paisley and Carrie Underwood host the CMA Awards live Wednesday on ABC. Celebrate Veterans Weekend, you got the powerful Duke Blue Devils against Mike Krzyzewski's alma mater and his former coaching staff, West Point. Like Duke looks like the Alabama of college I, basketball. Are you kidding me? At Zion, I think he's like the Tua of college hoops. I mean, look at that, that's crazy. Uh, dude, Barrett's, Barrett's the freak. I mean, he, he's unbelievable. Lawrence rolls out and delivers a strike and a nice hands catch by Renfro along the sidelines. How about that Devin seed? Knight. How about that seed right there? Just throws. An absolute rope gets his shoulder turn rolling to his left and look at the accuracy on the run a lot of righties can throw going to the right I think he I think he throws to his left as well as anybody in the sport I think he throws to his left and his right pretty good the ball looks like it's a kid's ball in his hand I was talking to the coaches as you know, we were talking about the wind and possible rain and it being cold everybody made a big deal about it they said he has huge hands we're not real concerned about the weather Feaster spins free, tough running, fresh legs. Now to midfield. They're still trying to push the pile. They finally blow the whistle. Feaster is is healthy now. You have ETN you have to deal with. Feaster, Choice, Dixon. Lynn J. Dixon is a true freshman that they have that they'll rotate in throughout the game. But it's tough enough to deal with ETN. But when you, you have to deal with a fresh back for 60 minutes in this offense and then the throwing of Lawrence with these receivers that's why this offense is so balanced they've had great teams and never had a team as deep as this Clemson team is Feaster that time was chased out of the backfield Ray Smith the tackle got in there and Allen yeah. again yeah and Ray Smith doesn't get talked about as much but when you talk to the coaches they get real excited about him and keep in mind he's 320 but they talk about his athletic ability for his size and another guy that probably has a future plan on Sunday. So this defensive line has some talent. Allen continues to make plays that will show up on Mel Kuyper's draft tape, speaking of Sundays. Third and five. Eagles rush three. Lawrence has time and shows the burst that he slides, but he slid before the marker. And so he is going to be marked down where he began to give himself up, and it's not a first down. Yeah, and where the ball is when he did go into that initial slide is where they're going to spot the ball. It's a rule designed to protect the quarterback. 
It's really even before where his knee hits. It's where yeah. the ball is when he begins to make that slide motion. And that will cost him a first down. And Dabo was hot about that because he saw a chance to chew some more clock and add to this lead. And it was a really good call because of the way this defense has pressured him on third down. Allen, all these guys are trying to get upfield. What a great call, quarterback trawl, to be able to just sneak up there and, and pick up those yards. The slide prevents the first. Get the snap off of one of the play clock. It's a kick high with a lot of backspin, but not exactly what Spires was looking for. Eagles will start from their 21-yard line. Back to Matt for an update. Thank you, Chris. We're around the ACC checking in on Georgia Tech in Miami. And who says Georgia Tech can't throw? Taquan Marshall does just that. 31 yards to Brad Stewart. 27-21 the final. Miami now 5-5 five and five on the season. Chris and Kirk, back to you. Matt filling in our good friend Cassidy Hubbard, not in the studio tonight, on a maternity leave. So all of oh. us wishing her well. Yeah, absolutely. Eagles, that total offense creeping up to 56 yards now, Kirk, on their 38 plays. Creeping. <laughs> they fake the reverse and a pitch downfield, a dangerous throw and a nice catch. Adrizi, the tight end, went up to grab it. How about that catch? And there are two Clemson defenders there. Simmons was kind of trailing him. Johnson comes over thinking he may have a play on a possible interception. And Adrizi with great focus. Dylan spun down. And he, he pitched it right into double coverage. Yeah, it's yeah. a great play by the tight end. Yeah, Adrizi, keep in mind, 6'3", 250, goes up. And not only makes the play, but he stays in bounds. Gets both those feet in there. I think he's, you look at all these tight ends. Sweeney, 89, gets most of the attention, but Adrizi definitely shows great skill, and they feel that Hunter Long, the freshman, could be the most talented of the bunch. Play action. Perry fires incomplete. Tried to get it on the far side there to White. It was broken up by Mullen. And the frustrated night continues for A.J. Dill. He admires toughness playing through a, a high ankle sprain, Kirk, but just three yards per carry in his 13 rushes. Yeah. 13 carries, 39 yards. This defense without any threat at all of the passing game going downfield. They, they've adjusted to just locking in as if they weren't already locked in on A.J. Dillon. Now it really zeroed in on him. Tight ends in the slot. Levy is in the game. Protection breaks down, and it's a sack. Perry is dropped by Cleland Farrell, who was on the ground, just reached out a big arm and grabbed the quarterback. Usually you think of Farrell, you think of him coming off the edge. Watch how he works underneath here. This is just an effort sack. He goes down, but he doesn't give up, and eventually, even with a lineman on top of him, he gets to the quarterback. That is not giving up as a pass rusher. Yeah, that's wanting that sack right there. 300 pounds on top of you, but you got one arm free. Grab the quarterback by the ankle. It's an ugly kick and squeeze a few more yards out of the bounce. But Clemson back to work at the 39. Curtis Wilson, the All-State bus, making the trip up to Chestnut Hill. It's for your All-State Mayhem moment. How about Mayhem, Northwestern Wildcats, and Pat Fitzgerald go up to Iowa City with a chance to clinch. What a catch right there. That kind of represents this game for Northwestern. They win at Kinnick. They didn't win a non-conference game. Everybody thought Wisconsin would be the team that would get to Indy. Instead, Pat Fitzgerald, congratulations. The Wildcats are headed to Indianapolis to play in the Big Ten Championship. Take on the winner of Ohio State, Michigan. Buckeyes grinding past the Spartans in East Lansing today. Pitch to the edge. Pads are popped. And knocked down there is Choice right at the line of scrimmages. Eagles defense. Hardly quitting, playing with great effort and entry still. Yeah, they, they, they really have played well, all things considered. The challenges of defending this Clemson attack and the different ways that they can come after you really have had a great plan and for the most part have executed it pretty well to keep themselves within striking distance, just not getting anything from the offense tonight. Lawrence zips it far side. Catch made and shoved out of bounds is Rodgers with 16 seconds. Maria? 
Hey guys, and also Mitch Hyatt, you've seen the left tackle starter for Clemson. We haven't seen him in the last two series, and about three minutes left in the first half, he went in the tent a couple of times. He came out, was kind of looking at his hand, was rotating his shoulder, and right now he's not sitting with the starters on the offensive line when they come over to the sidelines. He's sitting back in the second row, so not sure if he's out. He's standing and holding his helmet, but he hasn't been in for two series. Man, making his 52nd career start. He's played more than 3,400 snaps. You can see a disappointment on his face. But the Tigers up by 13, headed to the final quarter here in Chestnut Hill. Back after this message and a word from your local ABC station. Over 100 years ago, we were talking about the Model T. Now here we are. Talking about winning the most J.D. Power IQS and Appeal Awards. Talking about driver assist technology. Talking about cars that talk and listen. Talking about the highest customer loyalty in the country. But that's enough talking. Seriously, that was a lot of talking. Back to building. My name is Gary, and I have a dog also named Gary. <laughs> my name is Tim. Fun fact, I'm captain of my paintball team. Escape to football at Buffalo Wild Wings and try our new game day menu featuring $5 brats, cheeseburger and fries, cocktails, and pitchers. Geico makes it so easy to manage my policy. With an app that lets me pay my bill, add a vehicle, or even file a claim, it's not just easy. It's aerobics in a recliner easy. It's not just easy, it's Geico easy. Feel the bird! An interview eight years in the making. For the first time, mm -hmm. you are really opening up about a lot that people don't know. A first lady's journey, becoming Michelle Obama. Tomorrow at 9, 8 central on ABC. To celebrate the Blackish 100th episode with Prince. And you'll go crazy. Yes, you know. What was that lady singing? Blackish 100th episode of Best, Tuesday on ABC. Was that your sandwich? No. That was your sandwich. Go getters, get two with Dunkin' Go Twos. Two sandwiches for two, three, or five bucks. America runs on Dunkin'. Welcome to Emirates, Mr. Jones. Just sit back, relax, and let us entertain you. With over 3,500 channels of entertainment, including the latest movies and box sets from around the world. We even have live sports and news channels. And your free Wi-Fi will start shortly. Enjoy your flight, Mr. Jones. World's best in-flight entertainment. Fly Emirates. Fly better. Bacon. Egg. Cheese. Only one way to make this better. Another one. Dunkin' Go-To's. Get two bacon, egg, and cheese sandwiches for $5. America runs on Dunkin'. The firefight continues in California, the latest after the game. Set for the final quarter at Chestnut Hill, Saturday Night Football. Presented by Walmart. Part of Veterans Week, presented by USAA. In this frosty night in New England, the BC student section trying to stay in it. Their defense has certainly played with a lot of spirit. And despite the fact that the Eagles have mustered six first downs and 61 yards through three quarters, they're still hanging in the game with hope if they can get Clemson off the field on this third and two. Adam Choice is the back. Lawrence is looking to throw, and he flips it. Quick completion on to Renfro, who's been busy tonight. Veteran. Boy, he's such a talented receiver such an experienced receiver there's whether you play man you bracket him you, you play off and in that case he just knows where to settle in and he and trevor lawrence over these last six weeks developing a very good chemistry together and renfro to the far side makes a catch again 
Hunter was joking that he's the old man of this receiving core. Of course, made one of the biggest plays in Clemson history, the catch that beat Alabama in the championship game. And he's a, he's a guy that's going to finish his career with, with more starts than any Clemson receiver ever. People will, of course, remember that touchdown. Yep. But what I remember is when he was a freshman the year before, the plays that he made against Minka Fitzpatrick, who was yep. a highly touted five-star recruit in the game in Phoenix. Started from almost the fourth or fifth game of his career. And Lawrence launching downfield to Higgins. Again, giving the receiver yeah. no chance to make a play. Yeah, and he, I was watching him after he threw it. He's kind of flipping his wrist right now. Um, but yeah, that, that's the second, second or third time we've seen the ball carry out of bounds. It's like they have a holding call against Clemson. Holding offense, number 74. 10 yard penalty, second down. It looked like the ball just kind of got away from him. Here's what happened after the throw, what you were talking about, Kirk. I just happened to look back at him, and he's obviously disappointed, and just kind of, I think he's more just kind of thinking about the technique and the fundamentals of, of throwing that deep ball. Knowing him and his work ethic from what these coaches say, that'd probably be something he'll go right back to work on next week. Second and 14, ETN back in the game. Eagles rush for Lawrence looks to flip it in the flat. It's a screen, but they sniff it out. And ETN, although he's fighting hard, be dropped for a loss there. Hemp Cheevers, the corner, was there in a hurry. Yeah, and again, he, he didn't necessarily even give this a chance to, to develop. He just comes right away anticipating that Boston College's defense would be out of position. I don't even think he saw Hemp Cheevers, who was almost just waiting there for the ball to be thrown. Play never had a chance. Cheevers, who has five picks, tops in the ACC, and among Power Five schools, second in the FBS. It's like Bockhorst now is checked out. Third and 19, and Lawrence has the ball batted in the air and incomplete. Zach Allen one more time. Ankrum continues to struggle on that right side, and here's watch two right across from him. He's been going outside. He gets his weight on his outside foot, and then he goes back to the inside. So this guy is a senior. He's been around. He's not just, you know, you see a lot of guys in college just have the speed to get around the corner and, and the bend. This guy can do that at 285. He can also get back underneath, use his hands, and get those offense alignment off balance. That was beautiful. He was so nimble. He was getting pinball by two blockers. All he could do was get the hand up, and that was enough to break the play up. What a night for Allen. May not result in a win, but his stock just continues to rise. And the punt is yeah, going to roll dead down at the 12-yard line. The senior from New Canaan playing his heart out tonight. And BC finally musters some offense. When you retire, will you act or feel different? Or will you just be you without the constraints of a full-time job? You can grow your retirement savings with Pacific Life and create the future that's most meaningful to you. Which means you can retire without retiring from life. Having the flexibility to retire on your terms, that's the power of Pacific. Ask your financial professional about Pacific Life today. I want to give my family a great entertainment system. Where do I start? At home. Oh yeah? Yeah, with us. An in-home consultation. Really? And it's free. Free expertise at your place? That's quite a stocking stuffer. I've heard a lot about Samsung 4K QLED TVs. They're great. And when we look at your space, we'll know how to build the best system for you. I want to give Santa some real competition this year. Shall we set up that consultation then? Yeah, let's do it. I wonder if they come in through the chimney. What does it take to work at CarMax? That's a great question. If you'd stop in a monsoon to help someone change a tire, save a whale that had beached itself. You're gonna be okay, big guy. Push! Lend a hand in an old-timey barn brazing. And if the middle school dance group was down to one member and you'd step in and lead them all the way to glory, then CarMax is for you. Because helping people is what our people are all about.
AT&T proudly offers wireless and TV discounts to military, veterans, first responders, and their families. Visit att.com slash hero. Today, every rookie gets a new training officer. We get the opportunity to be heroes. The Rookie, only Tuesday on ABC. Tigers defense tonight, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a heck of a job. And once Anthony Brown went down, they have locked in on A.J. Dillon in this running game, making it tough for Dillon with only 39 yards. Look how they leverage the football. Take any chance at all away for the quarterback, Perry, to make a play. And here's a third down. They get pressure, force a short throw, no chance of picking up that first down. And Brent Venables is fired up and proud of that defense tonight. That was a slant thrown just behind C.J. Lewis, who was open. It's been rare to have Eagles receivers running open. That was a missed opportunity. Yeah. That ball behind him, you're right. A soft cushion. Missed him. 1.5 yards per play. BC's 43 offensive snaps tonight. Dillon, total of 39 yards rushing. Is a keeper and nice move, elusive move by Perry to spin for some harder yards. It'll set up third down. I know the Patriots have a big game on the road in Nashville, and Mike Brable, head coach of the Tennessee Titans, the Titans at four and four. His son Tyler Grable has a very bright future. Freshman coaches were talking on and on and on about what a future he has here as offensive lineman. Adazio, of course, with an offensive line background, knows how to recruit that position as White is just leveled by Terrell. Terrell has had a great night, not just in coverage, but coming up to make plays and showing he can get physical. Talk about a guy with a bright future. So long, 6'2", 190. Him on one side, Trevon, Trevon Mullen on the other. They have two really talented corners. That missed opportunity, that slant on first down. If you're Boston College against this defense, you got to take advantage of every one of those chances. They couldn't. And here's the punt to Rodgers, who retreats to the 40. Amari Rodgers gets the edge, has blockers, and explodes. Amari Rodgers, touchdown, Clemson. Each team with a punt return to the house tonight. You could see that developing early. <laughs> you, sure you sure could. I would say that T. Martin, his father, would be going crazy right now, but USC's in the middle of playing the Cal Bears. That was set up perfectly. And Amari Rodgers has big play written all over him. 58-yard touchdown. And, Maria, you know that Amari and his dad, T. Martin, who is with the Trojans, do keep in close contact, don't they? They sure do, Chris. I mean, they talk every single Monday at the beginning of the week, and they send their text messages out. They check back in midweek to talk about the matchups, and on every Saturday morning, he gets a text from his dad that he loves them and to have a great game. I'm sure T. Martin will be excited that his son just scored that yeah, touchdown. Yeah, will have a lot to talk about when he next contacts his dad. 27-7 Tigers. started that one family night in Dumfries, Virginia. Family night is for everybody. It's a time for families to do crafts together. The kids just love going to Chick-fil-A for dinner. Being the single mom and getting everybody ready, it was tough. We would get there a little bit late, like on the tail end of it. Helen saw that I was having trouble getting them to Chick-fil-A for the family night on time and actually got it extended another hour. Noticing things like that, I never really told her how much she affected me, but she did. Love you. <laughs> no. 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 What we got. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? Hey, Portal, call Lauren. Oh, wait, it's moving. And if I go over here, the camera follows me, doesn't it? Me. You can see up here, right? Yeah. yeah. It has to, like, quick <laughs> it. Hey, Casey. 
nice to see you today. Okay, I picked out my dream car. Now's the really fun part. Choosing the color, the wheels, the interior, everything exactly how I want it. Here's the thing. Just because I configured this car online doesn't mean it really exists at a dealership. But with True Car, I get real pricing on actual cars in my area. I see what others paid for them, and they show me the ones that match the car I want. So I know I can go to a True Car certified dealer, and it'll be right there waiting for me. Today, right now, this is True Car. With Hulu, tailgating's never been better. In the early days, all you had was a radio. And now, Hulu's completely changed the game. Because you don't have to choose between tailgating or watching football on ESPN. You can do both. Saturday Night Football on ABC is presented by Walmart. Light up Christmas at Walmart. In part by Pacific Life, experience the power of Pacific. And Chick-fil-A Nuggets. Tonight is Nugget Night. Progressive Pylon Cam giving you angles tonight. As the aerial coverage brought to you by Goodyear. Keep pushing day in and day out on the field and on tires you can trust to help you go the distance. Goodyear, more driven. Quick view of the home of the Red Sox, the champions again. So many championships piled up by Boston pro sports teams. BC, by the way, has three NCAA hockey titles in the last 11 years. And a total of four during that amazing 18-year run of Boston pro sports championships. Rodgers had the muff on earlier, takes one to the house. And this is Walker, who's accounted for BC's only points, knocked down to the 30. If there's one team that many feel is equipped to deal with Alabama, it's Clemson. And Dabo Sweeney had fun in one of our studio shows. But the notion that it's just Alabama and everybody else in the sport. Back when I was a player, you know, they had kind of the 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 the, the big time bus and then they had the Roy bus the rest of y'all and and uh, you know it's kind of it's kind of Alabama and then the rest of y'all that's that's we're we're just glad to be on the Roy bus right now and 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 to still have a chance uh, yeah I don't know if he really means that they just got a chance of it <laughs> the the Roy bus quickly caught on rest of y'all John Cooper used to call it the A Y O bus all you others. And Dylan is knocked down, and the merchandise quickly following Dabo's Roy, Roy bus. We're coming, says the team. Let, let, let's just make it perfectly clear. They're not part of the Roy bus. They're, they're, Alabama and Clemson are actually exchanging soft drinks and, and snacks. So they, they each have a bus, and then it's the rest of y'all behind they, those. Yes. Okay. Yeah, the Roy bus is behind those two. <laughs> As the fake end around, and Perry wants to take a downfield shot on the care, and it's actually caught. What a play. Kobe White had it as it bounced off of Tiger's hands. Uh, he had the interception. Kendall Joseph makes a great play to be in position. Just doesn't come up with the interception. It's right there in front of the tight end. Ball goes off his face mask straight up into the air to White. And BC, it's been one of those nights for they'll, their offense. They'll take it. That's what it took. Guns tonight, 22 it yards. Takes. Trying to get over 100 yards in total offense. And they're within 10. What are you doing? Play action yeah. play. And another delivery downfield. And there was a miscommunication there. No receiver in the area. And Austin Bryant provided the pressure. Back to Matt for an update. Okay, Chris, first year the Chad Morris there in Arkansas trying to get one against LSU. Staying in this is Wu Pig. Ty Story to Cheyenne O'Grady. 32 yards and don't look now. They're within 7, 24, 17, late in the fourth. Chris and Kirk. Mark Kansas. Looking for their first SEC win. Chad Morris, of course, who left Clemson. To, he'll be a head coach. Dexter Lawrence still making plays, yeah. still bringing the attitude in there. Yeah, Dexter Lawrence. We've talked about all four of these guys. Watch 90 just push back. The offensive lineman there. I mean, John Baker, the center, on skates. You're, you're just chuckling. That's just a raw Oh, my power. gosh. It's, it's illegal. I mean, you're not allowed to be able to do that. Keep in mind, Lawrence is... 350 pounds and can move. 
Third and 12, another bad snap. Barry collects a deep trouble. Somehow escapes and is going to get back near the line of scrimmage. Wilkins chased him out. That could have been another disaster, but it's going to be instead another third yeah, long. I don't know if Baker was thinking about the last play. And getting a little Bill bit, Buckner here in Boston. <laughs> getting a little bit nervous. Baker got handled by Dexter Lawrence. The very next play, it's a low snap. Sorry to bring up that Red Sox fans. We did give them some love, but that was Buckner right through the five hole. Right through the wickets. Bruins fans would say. So it's a punting situation at midfield, maybe. Does Dazio feel like gambling? Down by 20? No. This one's going to punt it away. And it will bounce into the end zone. 9.20 to play in Chestnut Hills. The Tigers close in on the division title. I've been having dreams. Jumping on a trampoline. So we want to make sure you're covered properly. Okay, State Farm, let's just say hypothetically that someone used Aaron's bathroom and that person lit a candle and the candle accidentally lit a towel on fire and the towel charred the wall. What would that... Weren't you just in the bathroom? I've never been in a bathroom. Not once. How does that work? Well, I meditate and I make it go away. It smells like you burned some. We should definitely investigate it. Go with the one that's here to help life go right. State Farm. Free two-day delivery to your door. The ability to search by snapping a picture. And everything you need to bring more joy to the world. At the Home Depot, this is how we're making it easier to deliver the magic of Christmas. This is why. Get your choice lighting reels just $18.88. At the Home Depot, more saving, more doing. Come in for a test drive end up with a fun drive. The Volkswagen Drive to Decide event. Get a $1,000 bonus on select 2019 Jetta and 2018 Tiguan and Atlas 2.0 T models. Deja food. The eerie feeling you're having the same food at every group event. Because you are. But now, there's a cure. I got tacos. Tacos. Whatever your occasion, mix things up with 12 delicious tacos in one box. Taco Bell Party Packs. Party food will never be the same again. This season, keep your stories interessante. Just like those Eggies, the only beer used to water every college football field. Rick. Hey, Rick. Hmm? Dial up the dose right here. Dos Equis. Keep it interessante. Brad Paisley and Carrie Underwood host the CMA Awards live Wednesday on ABC. Now the Red Sox gathering another World Series and the trophy really made the rounds. They, they take it to a Celtics game. Goes to a Bruins game. They get saluted by the Bruins there. They put it on a big truck and drive it into a Patriots game. How about that? And Cora rips off the Red Sox jersey and rocks the Patriots jersey. And the Boston... They are spoiled here, aren't they? Uh, aren't they? My goodness. I mean, they, they, they win everything. Clemson chasing more trophies and more hardware. This is a trophy game. We'll show you that a little bit later. If Lawrence scrambles and takes a loss and is tripped out of bounds. But you think about it in the lifespan of these Boston College students. Since 2001, five Super Bowls for the Patriots, four World Series for the Sox, <laughs> Celtics and Bruins have each won one World oh, Championship. Man. BC Hockey's got four. I would mention I mean, that just, BU Hockey's got a couple as well in that time. Just the Pats alone would be a great thing if you were a sports fan. But they're just every sport. You see hockey, by the way, after a little sh bit of a slow start this year until two and five record. Lawrence from the pocket, incomplete, trying to zip it in there to receiver, and it was off the hands of Chase, third and 15 now. They're still firing the football. 35th pass attempt by Lawrence. He's 26 of 35 for 272. 
thrown for one and run for his first career touchdown tonight. Doesn't do much to chew the clock. You have incomplete passes. But an aggressive approach, no throttling back. UTN is the back. The Eagles rush four, and it's a running play, and they're going to get close, but not quite on that run. So the punt team will come out for Clemson. Yeah, th this offense, you know, they, they have 27 points. They put up some numbers. It's, it's, it's been an okay night, you know, based on their standard. That's probably part of the reason that Davo Sweeney still has them in there, that, that first unit, despite they're up by 20. And there's really no chance for Boston College to, to put 20 points up on the board here in these last eight minutes. You could easily go to your backups. And I'll tell you, Dabo, of all the coaches in the country, I would say he he is as willing to put in backups. In fact, they brag about how many players they, they typically play when they get up on people. They're going to let the play clock run down, use the full allotment, and take a timeout inside of eight minutes to play before the punt. Dabo seemed really loose and relaxed. He seemed like he knew he was bringing a team north into a tough environment that was fully capable of handling all these challenges, and he was right. I mean, on both sides of the football, it's not overwhelming like the last four games have been, but this is not the easiest place to play, and, and they're going to be heavily, heavily favored to get back to the playoff and, and make some more noise. Oh, yeah. I mean, we just talked about how Alabama, Clemson, and then you could draw that line. Uh, you know, it, it's going to be a fun next three to four weeks to see how this thing shakes out. But you look at the remaining schedule that they have and the games that they still have to play, it, it's, it's hard to imagine Clemson tripping up before they get ready for another shot to get into the postseason. ACC finale at home next week against Duke, and then it's home against South Carolina. They've won the last four in that rivalry series. And, of course, the ACC championship game. Back to Charlotte for yet another trip. By for a fourth consecutive. See that bottom line there, 92% chance of making the playoff. That's got to be the best of the remaining of all the teams. Walker feels another one on the bounce, but this time the coverage team, which has a whole bunch of starters on it. Tanner Muse drives him out of bounds. And that comes the defense back on the field, protecting a 20-point lead. Season, I'm everyone with the case of the dropsies. I just dropped my phone. Can you help me out? Hey, honey, I might have dropped the match. I did. And if I could show up on game day, imagine what could happen the rest of the week. So get Allstate and be better protected from mayhem like me. More than just $5 medium one-topping pizzas, stuffed garlic knots, breadsticks, bone-out wings, pasta, and new Cinnabon mini rolls. We're the $5 lineup with the best sides for your pizza. $5 each. Choose two or more, $5 each. No one out pizzas the hut. Let's do an ad of a man eating free waffles at Comfort Inn. They taste like victory because he always gets the lowest price on our rooms guaranteed when he books direct at choicehotels.com. Or just say bada book, bada boom. Book now at choicehotels.com. I am on a journey to help people find time to relax. Are you ready for the journey, Elizabeth? How did you get in here anyway? The cat flap. That makes sense. Relax with the real ginger taste of Canada Dry. This is the face of a man watching football on the super big Samsung QLED TV. He's cheering. On the inside. The 4K Samsung QLED TV. Samsung Black Friday offers start now. Hey, Maya. Hey, you're still thinking about opening your own shop? Every day. 
I think there are some ways to help keep you on track. Closer to home. Edward Jones grew to a trillion dollars in assets under care by thinking about your goals as much as you do. Come in for a test drive. End up with a fun drive. The Volkswagen Drive to Decide event. Get a $1,000 bonus on select 2019 Jetta and 2018 Tiguan and Atlas 2.0T models. Pacific Life Games summary shows you what an efficient performance it's been from Trevor Lawrence in his first start up north and at night. Hunter Renfro has been the top receiver, eight catches. ETN, an efficient night, but it's really been about the Clemson defense that has disrupted this BC offense, knocked Anthony Brown, the starter, out of the game in the Tigers. First defensive series, and now the backup comes in there. Immediate pressure, Kendall Joseph came on the blitz and knocked him down. Yeah, they've got about six or seven of the backups in, but they just brought the blitz there. They've been bringing those linebackers a lot, and this time Joseph just comes clean right up the middle. Nobody accounts for him, and it's a quarterback's worst nightmare. Pressure right up the middle. There's just nothing he can do. Kendall Joseph, by the way, one of 17 graduates who play for the Clemson team. That's the second most in FBS. As Dylan is strung out, loses the ball out of bounds at the 17-yard line. Chris, I, I went back and looked. Go ahead, bud. No, I was just talking about, I just wanted to salute as we see Dylan yeah. and hobble off. All the graduates, there's 835 of them in, in the FBS. Wilkins and Joseph, two of the guys who play in Venable's defense, represent that. And just want to salute Absolutely. them. Good work. Absolutely. Guys have been around. I went back and looked at the last five years as Clemson defense has played. They've averaged in 66 games in these five years, allowing 17 points in those five years. Wow. Well, the fourth sack tonight, it's BC way behind the six, and that's Levy trying to get Think them out about of how many games you watch on a Saturday. It's 49 to 42, and it's 52 to 39, or whatever. I mean, it's just so many points. This Clemson defense, not five games, five years for 66 games. They're giving up 17 points a game. That's why they play complementary football. It's defense, special teams. You saw the return by Rodgers. The offense, it's a tough team to knock out. That's for sure. And the dominance this year by Clemson comes in a year when so many other teams in the ACC are down. Florida State, Miami, Louisville has completely fallen apart. And the division is going to go one more time to Clemson. PlayStation 4 brings you the rankings, an emphatic win by the Irish at home. Final home game for the Irish seniors, 42-13 over the Seminoles. And I think it's important for Notre Dame to continue to look good and not just win games. It was a big win over, I know Florida State, everybody seems to be beating them up this year, but important for Notre Dame to do that and also for Michigan getting a big win over a, a Rutgers teams that obviously yeah. is down. All the top teams were, were big favorites this weekend all about yeah. handling business. What do you know about the, the trophy that's at stake here? The your work McFadden trophy it goes back to the 1940 Cotton Bowl. That's the first meeting between these two teams and Charlie O'Rourke and Banks McFadden wore those old leather helmets back when players were really tough. And this is it's been a trophy game since 2008. I, I di honestly didn't know that th this is a trophy game. Are they going to run across the field and and grab it like Wisconsin and Minnesota where they grab the axe. Uh, I think they're going to keep it. Clemson's going to win their eighth straight in the series. But I'm just saying, I mean, they're going to they gonna Ross. carry it around like this. We're going to find out. This goes back to that Cotton Bowl. This was a year about three teams turned down the bid. So Clemson and BC said, yeah, we'll go play. It wasn't a thriller. It was one touchdown scored in the game. Tigers won it 6-3, missed the point. Frank Leahy was the coach of Boston College team that season. But that was the, the first meeting, and of course they end up in the ACC, and it has been dominance in the last eight years for the folks in orange and white. Third and ten. Thought about throwing. He's chased by Allen, and he's going to just fire it incomplete. A flag came in late. Cheevers was defending Kendrick over there. His right hand grabbed onto the back of the jersey of Kendrick. 
I think that's what the flag Pass came in. Defense number four. The ball be placed at the spot of the foul. Automatic first down. In the back of his jersey or the back of his helmet. And definitely made contact before the ball got to him. So the right arm. He just grabbed onto the back of the jersey. Yeah, if you grab and spin the guy, you're going to get that flag. Not many penalties tonight. That's just the seventh accepted penalty between the two teams. But it gives the Tigers a first down and an opportunity to chew more clock. Still throwing. Thompson on the edge. He's going to be knocked down out of bounds. So Pacific Life game summary. Quarterback comparison. You suggested there wouldn't be any trouble with Lawrence in the cold weather. His first trip north of the state of Virginia. And, of course, Perry forced into emergency duty when Anthony Brown was knocked down. And we don't want to speculate, but it, it did seem to be the kind of injury that, as the pass is dropped on the edge there, that might force Perry or perhaps the third quarterback, Matt McDonald, to try to take this season home for the Eagles. It's, it's a potential. Wait, yeah, we'll have to wait to see. Field. Yeah, we'll have to wait to see. But it definitely changes how Boston College uh, tried to attack tonight. And, you know, they, they were kind of facing an uphill battle to begin with. Steve Adazio would be the first one to tell you that. Respect that he, that he has for Brent Venables in this uh, very talented Tigers defense. It's third and three play. Lawrence flips it back to the boundary and the catch is made. And Overton, his first catch of the night, first down inside the 40. You know, the, the, one thing we're going to see over the time is Trevor Lawrence is talented, but even on this throw, he comes right back and just throws it, and and he got away with it, but there's been a, a, a just a few plays tonight where he shows his youth and shows his inexperience, and I, I really look forward to watching him because I know how diligent he is with his preparation and his film study and trying to continue to just get better and better, and that's the thing. Every week he's going to learn, and every week he's going to go to a different level. It's not just about having a big arm and, and the physical talent. He's got the big arm, and he throws a, a pick right there. As Cheevers is going to make his sixth pick of the season, which is going to put him in the FBS co-lead. That's huge. That's huge. But that's another example of what I'm talking about. You're running out the clock here. The coaches are still willing to throw. He has such confidence in his arm and his receivers. He thinks he can make this play. And... You just, you got to be a little bit more respectful of the football and not just throw it. And there's been maybe three or four times tonight where he's just kind of went from one side to the other and just thrown the football. And I think when he goes back and looks at the film, th those will be areas he'll try to continue to make improvement. By the way, that's incredibly the first time this year that Amari Rodgers had been targeted as a receiver and not been in completion. And now a slant across the middle and a big play for this offense. Well, there, there's an accurate throw. Hits him in, in stride and allows him to use his speed. Right up to the 34. I'm going to go back to what you said because I think Lawrence is an interesting story. And he's already so good and so gifted, as you point out, that you grade him with a very high standard. Even though he's only made a handful of starts in his career, the coaches say he does things that a junior or a senior would do so you expect a oh, lot sorry. out of him. yeah yeah offense and, number 67 and I five think yard penalty first down and I think because of his potential and in some of the plays you see you, you sometimes just you start to think okay that's who he is but you forget guys only started what is this, his fifth or sixth start so it's very natural I don't care what quarterback you're ever talking about in the history of the sport it, it takes a while for them to kind of work some of those kinks out of their out of their game and the only way you do that is make mistakes it's it's okay you're supposed to make those mistakes and and then have a chance to to learn from them think about the productivity of this offense 19 touchdown passes in the season before that when he only had three picks you think about deshaun watson he was productive but he threw a lot of picks his first couple years so he made his mistakes oh, yeah. and learned too. Absolutely. Yeah. Look what look at that finished product. <laughs> Second and 15. There's an airmail ball. Try to get it to the tight end. Way over the hand of Sweeney. 
And this guy, Sweeney, has been well covered. A lot of respect on the Clemson side for this big, tall tight end, and they have not let him get free tonight. No, no, they haven't. And that, that a big part of what BC wanted to do was not just with Sweeney, but all six of their tight ends because of that size and it's a, it could have been a, a matchup to their advantage and off the play action pass game just after the injury to Brown just had not been in play at all it was a long throw in the sidelines is incomplete Smith couldn't quite come up with it got about 50 catches combined with those tight ends coming into this game and they have really been held in check that by my count they got about four between them tonight yeah pretty good ball here from the right hash all the way to the sideline and you can see the ball come out of the receiver's hands as he was had a foot in he had both his feet in he just couldn't couldn't hold on to the football expecting to see some trickery they, they have a bunch of dudes on this roster that can throw the football very well Smith the ex quarterback is one of them but maybe the relentless pressure from Clemson the fact that Brown was knocked out of the game we haven't really seen them try to trick the Tigers great the shock plays that way and Carlson has been way way too busy Rogers pobbles that one it's an adventurous night again for the Tigers pump returner who's had the highs and the lows well Tuesday on ESPN the college football playoff top 25 rankings the committee back to work this weekend in Texas watching the games and based on the results we showed you the lopsided wins with the teams at the top wouldn't really expect a change in no. the top of the rankings. No. Hate to hate to take do away they have some to of the excitement. We send them home. <laughs> I mean, do they have to be there? I, fellas, just punch out, go home. Right. Is there something else we can you could Our members shop a little differently. So we reward every purchase. Yeah. Let's see what Kate said. For you, for all of us. That's for me. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Venables defense holding BC to 113 total yards and just eight first downs. He's still over there coaching. Yeah. One of the best, if not the best, in the country on that side of the ball. Numbers prove it. As BC's had to face Manny Diaz in that crazy Miami defense, Bud Foster, and now Venables. How about that for a one, two, three in three weeks? <laughs> Booster shows some speed. Excuse me, Choice bangs for a first down. Later tonight on ESPN after the Cal USC game. Sports Center with Stan Verrett and Neil Everett. Talk about Tua. Is, is, is that knee hurting worse than people think? Nick Saban's quarterback concern. We'll have the reveal of our top four teams. The oh, yeah. Jimmy Butler to the 76ers trade. Is there any trauma in our top four teams? Maybe I'll just shuffle them around for entertainment purposes. With it, Joyce lost the football. And the alertly fallen on there by Overton. A little bit of loss of focus from this Clemson team, but they have come north and they have handled their business. And the Tiger fans have showed up well. There were orange fans sprinkled in all the sections. They bought up some BC tickets. This is impressive. Love to see them travel. They love love this Clemson Tigers team. Lynn J. Dixon is in the game. This guy, true freshman running back. Just when you think you've had enough of ETN, Feaster, Choice, here comes maybe 
this guy could be as good as any of them. He's number 23. Oh, no. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Takes off. That's a, that's a good setup, Kirk, because he's going to oh, gain a lot of yards I in his career. This guy. this guy is just raw and is only going to talk about all these young, talented players they have. This guy is going to become a superstar in this backfield as if they need another one. Well, could Clemson add to a 20-point lead in the final minute? A few folks interested in that. Don't appear to be in, in victory formation just yet. They gave him a thrill with that run by Dixon getting loose momentarily. Take a break. Will Sweeney's in the game, too. Get him the ball. Endless Shrimp is on at Red Lobster. For just $15.99, you get all the shrimp you want any way you want them. And now, savory Parmesan shrimp scampi is back. New sesame ginger shrimp is here, too. But hurry in. Endless Shrimp ends November 18th. College football in Eckridge Deli. Nothing better. Do they follow you everywhere? Yep. Give Saturday more flavor. Visit EckridgeFootball.com. Matt Berry standing by the Ford wrap-up show, Kirk, as they plot and plan over there on the far sideline with that Gatorade bath. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Looks aggressive. It looks aggressive. Bryant and Farrell. Aggressive. This is a flashback to 10 years <laughs> ago. <laughs> he got his first win here as an interim coach. He got a bath that night. I guess they can celebrate the fact that they're going to win the Atlantic Division. Your well, guy you Dixon is Dabo's, one free. Dabo's, Dabo's still dry. Oh, was it Dabo? Wait a minute. Dabo gave a little... That was Lemansky Hall. Fake. Lemansky okay. Hall. Dabo's still dry for now. For now. <laughs> the, uh, those veterans over there, they're so plotting something. They got yeah. something cooking. Yeah, they definitely On the far sideline. Dixon's giving folks a little bit of a thrill here as he continues to look dangerous with every touch. This might be the last play of the game. And he's going to spin around and be stopped at the line. Of uh oh, there they go. There they go. <laughs> Dabo showed the speed. He, he didn't quite stay dry. But they didn't get him over the head. Wilkins. <laughs> he's got a great relationship with his veterans. With his. Oh, they got him. Oh, the sneak attack late. <laughs> as Sweeney returns to the scene of his first victory as a head coach. And stays perfect on the season. Lawrence does his job. Respect for the job that Adazio has done. He says this may be the best team that he's played against. And he's going back to his days at Florida as an assistant, taking on some Bama team. That was yeah. what he thought of this Clemson group. Yeah, strong, strong statement. And because of the youth in some key areas of Clemson, they're just going to keep getting better. Oh, respect here. It's a beautiful yeah, moment. That was really good. Zach Allen Wilkins Christian back Wilkins. in his home state and Zach Allen exchanging gloves. Those are two yep. defensive warriors who are going to play for a long time on Sundays. Allen was just brilliant in defeat tonight. Victory goes to the Tigers by 20. And Dabo is with Maria. And a freezing cold orange Gatorade ice bath is so fitting because you clinched the Atlantic on the 10-year anniversary yeah. of your very first yeah. win at Clemson. Uh, how are you feeling right now, Man, Coach? Man, it's, it's incredible. You know, uh, first of all, I'll say hey, 10 years ago, um, we got our first win here, and the good Lord has blessed us over the last 10 years. Bless me and all the glory to God. I'm telling you, I, I, that group of, in 08 mm -hmm. who had the courage and the will to win, and they couldn't win a division. All they could do was win a game and try to leave Clemson in a better place. So, hey, I love all that class of 2008. We wouldn't be here without you. Got a bunch of them here tonight. C.J. Spillers here with us. But uh, to be here tonight and make history and win four division titles, it's just... Uh, just thankful to the good Lord for giving me the opportunity to be here. And, and these seniors, amazing, amazing uh, journey that they've been on. And know that we got a chance to go back to Charlotte now and, and play for another ACC championship. And uh, I think they tied the senior record. Uh, so got senior day next week. It's a special group. Tell me what's different about this group or, or very special that has allowed you guys to roll so well in the yeah, season. Yeah, well, first of all, this is the biggest senior class I've had. These seniors and juniors, just unbelievable focused leadership. You know, there's there's leadership and then there's focused leadership. And these guys are incredible. They have led from day one. They, they've got a clear vision of what they want to do. And uh, guys like this right here, you know, makes my job easy. 
Guys like that right there. I mean, your defense, I think you only gave up 113 yards. So just tell me what you saw from guys like Christian Wilkins. Well, We've had 60 guys in well, this Well, first game. of all, also, uh, uh, I hope their quarterback's okay. Um, 